Hey guys, are we back? Are we back? Can you hear me? Yes. Here we go. Showcase time. Sorry. I plugged in my controller. My whole computer crashed. How's the volume, guys? Our next project was supposed to be something totally different because for over 20 years we've been playing action It's too low. It's too low. And we always dreamt of where the genre now? could be taken next. At the same time, we felt that we could do even more within the Metroidvania genre, and so we embarked on making Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We ultimately shipped another game that was incredibly well received and that we're deeply, deeply proud of. But we had never forgotten everything about our broke. dream of creating our own action RPG. We have left our mark on one genre before. Now we hope to do the same for action RPGs. Our story everything begins broke. 841 years oh, yeah. after the embrace. King Harrow is dead and he's to be succeeded by his young and untested son, Magnus. Meanwhile, rumors of the return of a great plague, known as the Pestilence, are starting to emerge. Madrigal Selene, a ruthless figure in the church, sees the Pestilence as a chance to prove herself. These forces converge on the backwater of Isola Sacra, where rebel groups and the provincial government fight for control amid the Isle's crumbling ruins. As a Sarim, a member of an ancient sect devoted to defeating the Pestilence, you are sent on a merchant ship to investigate. En route, your ship comes under attack from a rebel group known as the Risen. The battle leaves the vessel battered and badly damaged. The ship stands little chance as it limps towards the shore and it is torn apart on the rocks at sea. You find yourself washed up at the shores of Isola Sacra, bruised and unarmed, and end up caught in the midst of both of I finally fixed everything. With no rest for the wicked, we decided to handcraft an entirely seamless world. Nothing in this game is procedurally generated. Instead of moving across a randomly generated flat plane, throughout this showcase, you will notice that our world is dense, interactive, uses a ton of verticality, and that every inch was crafted by a designer. You'll be well served, always paying attention to your Does surroundings. Does that help with too. load times? There are secret areas just about everywhere that usually reward you with precious items. Loot in No Rest for the Wicked is randomized. It ensures that every player has their own unique experience and that every time you explore an area, you might just finally get that last gold ore or new bad legs you've been waiting for. We abandoned the old point-and-click model to move your character around. We wanted players to have ultimate control over their character. Every movement you make should feel tactile and be intentional. For that reason, we designed Wicked to be played using WASD or a controller. I knew it. <coughs> should have never brought you on board. You'll never make it to Sacrament over me here. Instead of going for realism, our goal is always to create games that look like a painting come to life. I don't know if that means mouse can't be our played or if those are additional. I don't know the answer. Modeling and hand painting all of Isola Sacra. I, I, I don't know. You will traverse through plenty of breathtakingly beautiful environments, lit with natural day and night cycles, immersed in dynamic weather. I'm not, I'm not sure if that means that or not. We also engineered a very special way of rendering our top-down world where you can always see so much further into the distance. Oh, thank God. You can actually see? 
Our goal was to make everything as interactive as possible. If an object looks like you can climb it, then you can actually climb it. And if an object is too thin to walk over it, you might just need to balance your way across. Right from the start, we decided to create an animation-driven combat system. Which to us meant that every attack you make should be carefully considered. We wanted to bring weighty, precision-driven combat to the top-down space. Combat that's inspired by several different genres from ARPGs to fighting games. In order to overcome an opponent, you need to watch out for telegraph behaviors and then punish accordingly. Timing, spacing, and weapon weight are incredibly got important <laughs> in Wicked's combat model. In the rest for the Wicked, every single weapon has its own unique moveset and stats driven by RNG. Like a darker version Using of this light. dagger, I'll have a hard time breaking this enemy's shield. Let's try something different. Dude, this game looks fun. If what do you guys think of this so right, far? You can parry incoming attacks, allowing you to exploit an enemy's opening. You're not a Souls fan. Here in the West for the Wicked comes in four different rarities. White items are common. Unlike in other ERPGs, they're not trash loot. We instead made those the most customizable. Blue items are rare. They offer only positive enchantments. Purple items are cursed. They offer very positive enchantments, but they also come with a cursed enchantment. Gold items are unique. They are specifically handcrafted by our designers and offer unique enchantments. This rare claymore we found has an enchantment that increases my focus gain whenever I deal damage. Every weapon has a chance to drop with its own unique rune, which can then be extracted and used on other weapons. That way, players can come up with their own unique moveset. You gain focus through combat. It is then used to perform rune attacks. Let's try one. <laughs> Jeez. But every now and then, you might not even need to use your weapons to get rid of an enemy. Sometimes, <laughs> all you need is a little push. Every weapon you'll find in No Rest for the Wicked has its own I like how his spine so broke as he moveset, fell. Custom made by our incredible animation department. Squash and stretch and other animation principles directly inform our combat design. Layered on top of that, enchantments that drastically impact weapon behavior and our deep rune system. All of this culminates in a weapon system that we feel is extremely fun and engaging and allows every player to create their own style of combat. When it comes to gear like armor, there is a wide range of options, each with their own design and attributes. The weight of such items even affects your movement in combat. For instance, if you opt in for a lighter, faster build, you can quick step out of enemy's way. Quick steps are fast and don't consume a lot of stamina. With medium weight build, your character will dodge roll. Those are slower and consume more stamina.
For an arrest for the wicked, we designed a soft class system. Instead of locking you into a character class that you then have to adhere to for the entire playthrough, we want you to have the flexibility and freedom to play as the type of character <laughs> you want to. <laughs> look at and those, even come how up those with guys look. Classes we haven't even thought of. So far, we've shown what combat looks like with a more melee focused build. Let's take a look at how combat changes for a mage. This character build uses a two-handed stab. We have three rune specials available. Blink, Fireball, and Nova. Fighting multiple enemies is always tricky. When used right, Nova can be an absolute blast. The uniqueness of each item you find to craft being able to create any character build you can think of through our soft class system and the randomized loot, all of these systems combine to ensure each playthrough and every player's experience is never truly the same. They always finish every cutscene by opening up a treasure chest. <laughs> Graphics look pretty incredible. I saw a Sakura is riddled with plagued enemies known as the Torn. As you can see, this Torn has been left to mutate and fester and will prove particularly vicious. Our best course of action is to study his moves and attack whenever we see an opening. Bosses are also quite brutal in No Rest for the Wicked. They will punish every mistake you will make. But keep a cool head, make use of all of the skills you've learned, and you just might succeed. As you can see, No Rest for the Wicked is an intensely skilled game. It actually feels like game. you're fighting an Moving actual boss here from the animations, the the you sounds. The challenge is ultimately down to your skill. Look the animation of him on fire. Along your journey, you will come across the town of Sacrament, the capital of Isola Sacra. Sacrament is a war-torn place, but over the course of your journey, you can help rebuild Sacrament to its former glory. Don't ignore their gates, Saren. They likely never seen one of your kind. In order to demonstrate that, we'll switch to a realm that's already a little more advanced. Our goal is to make Sacrament as interesting and interactive as possible. Meet about in Merryweather, tailors at your service. Mary? We agreed. My name goes first. Don't pretend you don't smell it. Come have a taste. And players will be in control over the chef's name is evolved. Gordon. For example, after my previous expedition, I helped Fillmore rebuild his smithy. He now sells better gear and is also able to upgrade our gear to a higher level. To that effect, we aim to make investing resources into Sacrament as satisfying and rewarding as investing resources into your character is. Let's take a look at another way you can make Sacrament your own. In Sacrament you'll be able to purchase real estate. Well, if you have the funds to afford it. The city's gone to shit. Property in Sacrament can get a little bit expensive. But accumulate the riches, and you can choose from a wide range of properties to suit anyone's taste. Your house is the perfect place to stash your loot, craft items, relax, and plan everything out so they have for the next big run through the dangerous areas surrounding Sacrament. I just moved in here, so it's a little bit barren. Let's fix that. 
out on your journey, you'll be able to collect or harvest valuable resources, which then can be used to craft new gear, furniture for your home, or even make improvements to the town itself. Catch a fish, for example, and it can be cooked and eaten, of course. But certain fish scales might even make for some fine arm. While I was on the shores of Sakura, I collected some pine wood. So now let's make use of that and make this place a little bit more cozy. Housing is incredibly cool in No Rest for the Wicked. Since you're not constrained to a grid, you can come up with some really organic looking designs. Wait, how are you not constrained to a grid? The table How did they looks do that? Nice, but it's missing something. Ah, it was much better. While some items you can place in your house are just cosmetic, our goal is for most of them to be functional and have a gameplay purpose. With a range of properties to purchase and an incredibly flexible interior design system, we hope players will be able to find and design a unique place for them to call home. One last thing we'd like to show you today is a system we call Alive. Although No Rest for the Wicked features a traditional campaign, it was important to us that the Solar Sacra is very much a living, breathing world. In order to show you what that means, we're going to go to an area called Mariner's Keep. This is an area I've previously ventured through and explored. However, since my last journey through here, Nif have overrun the local area. Presenting entirely new threats for me to tackle and resources for me to scavenge. The world of No West for the Wicked is constantly changing around you. And each time you visit a region, you'll be faced with a drastically different experience. No rest for the wicked. You never really know what to expect. For those of you who asked about Endgame, yes, we've got you covered. While we don't want to give away too much at it this has point, an end game? once you reach the Endgame, Six you can portals? enter the Serum Crucible. This is where you'll have to test your map against some of the toughest enemies within No Rest for the Wicked. Our goal is and always has been to create a very different action RPG, one that will hopefully move the genre forward. We believe that Moon Studios is in an incredibly unique position to deliver on this vision. We have some of the best talent in the world united behind this, and we're not afraid to take the risks that need to be taken in order to change up the status quo. We've poured an incredible amount of blood, sweat and tears into this project, and now we're at a point where we need your help to shape and build Wicked into the best game it can possibly be. Therefore, we'd like to invite all of you who love this genre, who grew up with it the same way we did, and who are excited to see a new take on it, to join us on this journey. And so we're happy to announce that we're going to be launching No Rest for the Wicked after all of these years into Steam Early Access next month on April 18th. Over the course of Early Access, we'll be tweaking, patching, and balancing the game with your input. And you will also see major content updates throughout development until we hit our 1.0 release, at which point we're planning to release on consoles as well. Wicked has been built from Console the ground players up are gonna get it multiplayer too. in mind. 
So the first of these major updates that we will be releasing in Early Access will be providing you with an innovative multiplayer experience, allowing you to play Wicked alongside I think I'm gonna have even to play against this, yeah. your friends. Our second major content update will bring all new regions to Sakura, new enemies, narrative updates, and so much more. With story, system, and gameplay content updates to follow thereafter. Your support and feedback. They gave me the game. Very I have it. Part of I can access. play the first really hour and a half of it difference. right now after no this. Rest for the you guys want to see it? New era for Moon Studios, I have it and we right now. We're committed to this project for the long run. We're incredibly excited about what will be in the rest for the Wicked already okay. in day one of Early right. Access. And we can't wait to show they gave you all it to the will follow in the months to come. Once the showcase is over, be sure to tune in to your favorite media and content creators for the hands-on impressions of No Rest for the Wicked immediately following this showcase. We can't wait to see you all on April 18th. They gave it to me. They, I guess, they just didn't put me on the list. That's okay, though. I'm not. I'm not important. I. I don't know what the price is. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you got to go watch an official streamer. Is it is it over? Can we go can we go play? Yeah, I have it. I have it. We can play. I'll give it another mi minute or two. Is it is it still is it still going? I'm confused. I I already have it. You can play now. Okay. Okay. L let me know if it let me know if it comes back up. The only thing that they asked me is don't stream the starting screen. And I don't, I be honest with you, I don't know why. I looked at the starting screen. I don't know. There's like, I don't, there must be something there that I'm missing that they don't want to show. I don't, maybe it's like a secret. So let me switch the scene. Let me open the game. And then once I'm logged in, I'll show you. I'm sure one of the streamers is going to leak it, but it's not going to be me. All right, so let's open the game here. Let me see if I can get it open here. It's always rough trying to open something in early access. Okay, here we go. Got my controller on. If you can, can you see it or are you messing with me? Because I'm not supposed to show this. Can you guys see my screen or no? <clears throat> All right. I'm not trying to get in trouble here. Let 
Okay, I'm having a little trouble logging in. See what happens. Uh. Okay. Okay, this might be working. Do not stream this game. Do not do not stream this screen. Do not capture this screen. Okay, I think I'm in. Maybe we might we might be here. Okay, we're in. Here we go. Split. Boom. Can you see it? Dude, I have the game. Okay. Let's go to settings. Uh, okay. Display seems good. Okay, we have the volume at a hundred. So I cannot turn the volume up any higher. So hopefully this is good. All right, let's play. So the first thing I can tell you is I've been playing for three seconds. I can tell you that the controls feel very good. Feels, they said it was going to feel very responsive. It does. I'm playing on an Xbox controller right now. The new Xbox controller. Wait, what did that say? I need a shovel to dig for buried treasure. Hey, when we see these little cracks, we can dig for treasure? I don't know how to talk to this guy. Press Y to talk, okay. The tutorials are top mid, okay. Here are my quests. I have no bounties. I have no challenges. Okay. Press Y with a pickaxe to mine the ore. Okay. He's huge. Okay, let's see if we can go find a pickaxe. So it's Y for pretty much everything. I've acquired an item. Love items. Got my daggers on. Okay, that's interesting. Oh. Oh, you can have... Can you have three can you have three weapons and three shields? Is that what I'm seeing? Is that what I'm seeing? Okay. That might be loadouts or something. OK, 
Okay, let's see how strong we are now. Dang, the Krabby Patty hit me. Let's see if we regenerate health over time. These things. So, do I have to have an axe, or will the tree break eventually? I I see it says requires axe, but I wanted to see, dude. How far in the sea can I go? You can swim. Okay. I assume when that stamina ends, I'm going to die. Oh, okay. When you have... Press Y to slide, I would love to slide. Wait, how do I slide? Can I fall off? Okay, yeah, you can. You have to actually walk the walk the area. Look at that chest, though. This is a treasure chest, right? Why to take all? Is this a secret area? What's over here? Excuse me. Press Y to slot. Oh, okay. Yo, dude, I'm in the waterfall. Oh my God, look what I just found. Okay, I got some gloves. Did a very nice job of uh, rewarding exploration. Can you zoom in? Uh, was that the rendering scale option? This rendering scale? What happens if I do that? Holy shit, that looks terrible. That also looks terrible. I don't understand. What what is this? What is this option? Zizrin just showed the starting soon screen. Yeah, I told you it's not gonna be me. Did I just brick the graphics? Okay, no, it's, it looks better out here. What happens if I drag it all the way to the right? What does that even mean here? Just make it the most beautiful or something. Oh, okay. So I should have it at 1.0. 1.0 is the answer then. Looks like I can break this. By the way, I just realized I thought it said slide. It doesn't say slide. You can run? How? I can crouch. I can block, it looks like. Um, 
Let's see if this is a secret over here. Kanai has a climb. Can I climb up this? Can I climb this? Maybe? Hmm, how do you think I get up there? Uh, what about that? How do I get over there? Can I jump? Can I press Y? I mean, I can try. I'm pressing it, but nothing's happening. Looks like there's a way to get up there. I just don't know what to do. All right, let's press forward here. Go to the gate and press Y. Try. Okay, there's a ladder there. Okay, how would we get on that? Can I jump on the ladder? I knock down the ladder. Uh, you have to have special access to be able to play right now, I believe. Yes. We don't get to play the whole game. We just get to play the beginning. A shortcut to becoming from above, probably. Do I have a map? Yes. Can I walk into... Is there a... Okay, I'm dying. Oh. Looks like there's a ledge right there. Let's see if we can... Is this a secret right here? Maybe not. Okay. So it says there's a waterfall over here. Don't suppose I could break this, huh? Last Epoch is better. Well, this game seems like it's much more about exploring. Trying to determine where I should go exactly. Maybe I maybe I should have went to the beginning across the bridge. It's not it's not slide. It's siddle. Is that how you say that word? I've never even heard of that word before. Siddle. Never heard of that word in my life. It doesn't say slide. I thought it said slide too. Sidle. Sidle means to sidestep. Okay, learn something new every day. All right. <clears throat> Let 
Let me go back to the beginning. Oh wait, what's that? That's is that the hidden? That's the hidden room I opened, right? Oh, I see. This is how you run. Oh. Okay, you can run. You're right. Like this. Okay. You're right. You're right. What about this secret, though? Oh, what about this climby thing? Oh, my God. We're doing it, boys. It's happening. Wait. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Is that a bad guy? Copper pickaxe. Want to knock him off the thing, right? Bitch. <clears throat> Can I do like a running jump or something? Perfectly executed. Okay, I'm dead. Upon dying, items occur durability loss. If one is set, you'll lose. You'll return the last whisper activated. Okay. So I lost all my shit? Okay, so the combat is not ARPG style, it's actually tactical. Do you have levels in this game? Do you level is there an experience bar? Oh, is it is it the is it the white meter at the top? Is that my XP? Sneak behind enemies. Press X for a backstab. Okay, so it's a double swing. How do you dodge? I don't know. I need to figure it out. I just backed away there. Okay, that blue thing is calling me over there. So let's look here. Oh, I see what the problem is. Oh, there's different... Oh, there's different tabs. Oh, wow, they give you different tabs for your materials? Wow. Okay, how do I switch? How do I switch my... Oh, it literally just answered my question. Okay. Alright, let's try to get in there. Now I have a dodge roll, because I'm fat. It's fair. Go around this way, I guess. You can rest and replenish your health. Oh, okay. The last whisper that you visited. 
Okay, that's what they mean by whisper, okay. Okay, I like that. That's a nice animation. We're obviously going to go across that log. But first... I'm surprised how many different areas they were able to put just in the beginning. Okay, I have to actually walk, walk this carefully. It's like a jumping puzzle. Can't teach that, boys. Okay, you can... Okay, so let's see here. How do I... I want to know, how do I heal myself? wish there was a little bit of a combat tutorial. I wish I could, like, how do I heal myself in the middle of a fight? Yeah, the reason why I died is I'm trying to figure out... This is... What is this? Is this... Block? Like, how do I roll? I don't, I don't know how to do anything. Okay. Okay, that's how you roll. What is this, a block? How do I heal myself? LB is a weapon. Vial of stamina, vial of focus, scrap bomb. Huh. How do I throw a bomb? Okay, let's see if we can fight this guy straight up. Okay. I need to get much, much better. Can I not parry that attack? I'm trying to parry the attack, but I didn't successfully parry a single time. Let's try again. It's up on my D-pad. Oh. Mushroom soup and the mushrooms. Okay. And then how do you how do you use it? Sneak up on him. Okay, I'm out of stamina. There's a stamina wheel to it. I guess you have to hit it like almost frame perfect for the parry. You swing three times and you're out of stamina, so. Okay, we're going to keep fighting this guy until we learn to fight. Okay, that would have been bad. That would have hit me for sure. There we go. I don't understand why he swung that extra time. I didn't swing there. There we go. Now I stopped swinging. He does that extra one. Getting better. Getting better. You have to you have to block at like the last possible moment. And with the stamina bar, it's pretty punishing. Like you have to fight very, very carefully. Uh 
Oh shit, I rolled. See, that should have been pretty good, I thought. I wasn't ready for that attack at all. God, dude, I'm I'm backing up. Backing up non-stop, and he still hit me. His range is crazy. I'm actually surprised that that second, the, the first hit that he landed on me, I thought I blocked it perfectly. All right, let's try this again. Again, I, 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 blo I blocked that. I blocked that too. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him kill me. I don't understand. Maybe it's some attacks you can't block them? I don't know. Yeah, I could roll, but I'm trying to learn how to parry, but... I can tell you for sure the average gamer is not going to be able to play this. The average Joe Schmo is not going to be able to do this. It's very, very tight timing. Okay, I rolled p past one. That one was my fault. I blocked way too early there. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, 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 block, I don't know, man. I blocked it. Could try the daggers. Yeah, true. I'm going to sit here and keep practicing. See, I, I tried to roll, I tried to roll there. And it didn't work. Tried to roll past him. To eat is up. Can't eat in the water. Can't eat while you're swimming. How, how do you eat? Up. I'm pressing all the buttons. I don't know how to... I don't know how to... Wait, how did I... How did I just do that? How do they how do they eat that mushroom? Um yeah. Don't know how to do it. Pressing every button on the controller. Top left of the screen says it. Yeah, I hold up. It brings up my two ED things. A, X, Y, B. I am holding up on the D-pad. Holding up on the D-pad brings the... Just tap it. Oh. Oh, okay. Holding up lets you choose what you eat. Tapping it eats. Oh. Okay, I didn't actually didn't mean to eat that one. Okay, so let's get back up here. Holy. Knock him off. Okay. 
I rolled, but I guess I have no stamina, so I didn't roll. My items are at zero durability. I would say the odds of the average player being able to I guess you could just out you could just out gear it and just whittle them down, but the odds of the average player able to play this is not going to be high. Not going to be high. I, I blocked it, man. I blocked it. <laughs> I, I, I need to get an overlay. I need to get the overlay on the controller. I blocked the attack. What happened? Uh, why did I get hit? That, that was bad by me. That was just bad. Lock that one. I don't know. Don't know. I think they uh, need to open up like how many frames you have to block the attack, maybe. I don't know how many frames you get, but it's not many per attack. Tried to roll past him. So, I got marginally better at fighting, but, yeah, if you suck at video games, good luck. If you suck at video games, good luck. Okay, this is a second ladder. Um, can I jump her? I'm guessing that you... Okay. Okay. Let's eat a mushroom. Oh, I see. There's a bit of an animation to it. Okay. I wonder if you get an item that lets you, like... I've seen...
seen three of these ladders. Maybe, maybe in the normal game, the ladders will be there. Maybe they're trying to limit like where you can go or something. Okay, we're going to have to run and jump and get that treasure chest if it's possible. Can I jump up? Can I go up? Is up a thing? And I'm dying, and I'm dying, and I'm dead. Yep. So how do I visit a blacksmith? Where would I do that? The game is the game is brutal. It's definitely that's a good word for it. Oh, you could you you could That doesn't make any sense. You could climb up at the at the highest point. I could climb up there, but I couldn't climb up over there. Oh my god. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, my attribute points. See what happens. If I put it in health, I have 53 health. Okay. Let's go with that. Let's check my inventory. I got a big ass sword. It requires 11 and 11. Okay, now I actually have a shield. That's nice. Oh, that will probably help me. You want to know what? Now I can actually block. Okay, maybe the parry. Okay, probably what I was doing is I was parrying and parrying might be like frame perfect and blocking might be way more forgiving. Now that I have a shield, that might be how it is. Hunter's knife. I mean, we gotta try that one. And by try that one, I mean forget it. I don't feel dark. That don't feel. <sighs> I don't press that last swing. It's a part of the mace. I wish that wasn't a part of it. Way, way, way easier to block with a shield than to parry with a weapon. Okay, I blocked it, but it still knocked me down. Okay, it is, I deserve that one. My shield broke? Yeah, my chest armor is broke, so I'm taking massive damage. But it says I need a blacksmith to fix it. I don't have a... We don't have a blacksmith right here. There's a golden thing up there. We need that. <laughs> okay. That's an easier way to beat him. Just smash his ass.
Okay, better. I'm learning. Have I ever played Dark Souls? I haven't. Oh my god, a crossbow? Okay, let's see here, what am I gonna do? Bitch. Here's that ladder. Here's a ladder. Oh, a secret? Excuse me. I need a shovel. Now, can I activate this ladder? Why to kick down the ladder? Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. We're frying. Food to try to live here. Okay, I'm too slow, I guess. I don't have any. When I by the t I rolled so many times, by the time I got to him and blocked, I was out of stamina. I couldn't couldn't play anymore. That's why I didn't do anything there. I was pressing buttons, but I was out of stamina. Those archers are deadly because I'm too slow. I'm too slow with my weapons to walk away from their arrows, so I have to roll two of them? Are you fisting me? Very hard to fight two of them. I'm going to beat them. That's unfortunate. Let me just fight them straight up.
<laughs> he does a double attack, then backs up and attacks again. God damn, man. Yeah, I saw it that time, bitch. Oh, I'm out of stamina? Why didn't I roll there? At least I blocked it. Bitch. I got knocked down, but I think I blocked it, though. So I didn't die. It's fun. It's fun in a challenging way. Um, I think if you suck at video games, this game's going to be very hard for you. If you suck at video games, this game is going to make you punt your cat off of your deck. You're going to have to, like, overgear every fight. Yeah, it's like Dark Souls in an ARPG. Never played Dark Souls, but I can imagine this is what it would be like. Oh my god. Can I roll? Okay, um, well, what are we going to do about that? Need. Let's just hold on to it for now. Got a giant claymore. We already know we're going to be using that. Um, I don't get it. Can I put on the clay? If I have the claymore, though, I can't block, which is too bad. Look, dude, is this berserk? Is this guts? Boom! Wow, they throw where they think you're going to go? Wow. Watch this one, guys. There's n n This will certainly work. Watch this idea I have. Looks like there's something behind this wagon, by the way. Are you fisting me?
I jump up here. Can I jump up there? Nope. Can I jump up here? Kind of. I honestly think I prefer my mace. Even though it does 17 damage. Oh yeah, this is gonna go well. No, roll back. You can hear me hammering it, but it didn't work. Let's back up. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh... That whole backup with two of them is so deadly. God fucking damn it, man. God damn it. You have to fight so cautiously with this dog shit loot. What? I was crouching. Oh. Dude, the moment that I start attacking either of them, they start, they back up and they charge me and you can't block it in time. These guys are gods. I wasn't even aware they did any damage to me. Did, is my shield broken? I thought I blocked every single one of their attacks. I was dead? They were hitting me that entire time? I thought I was like, oh, you don't block if you're out of stamina. Oh, I was going to say I blocked every single attack that they did. All of them. How am I dead? They don't mitigate 100% of your damage. I guess I saw that one. I don't have a weapon. <laughs> okay.
Hello. Thank you, stranger, but I got my damn fool self trapped too. Suppose there's a reason I'm black. What's up? You're not a soldier. Huh? Name Spillmore. If you ever need anything repaired, you come to me. Nothing I can't fix. Now here. Nothing you can't fix. Will you repair I've every item that I've ever found is broken. Repair all zero. You mean I actually have a chess piece now that might actually mitigate some of the damage so I don't every time I fight a monster I don't get hit for ten times my health bar per per hit? Okay, so we need to get the blacksmith right away in the beginning. You know, so. To mitigate the 38,000 deaths. Oh my god, the one monster standing by the treasure chest effortlessly Audra knows you. Oh my fucking god. I ate all my mushrooms, it looks like. Wait, no I didn't. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, okay. Let's make some mushroom soup. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't have an axe, right? Okay, if I have been here before, we killed, there were archers here that I couldn't deal with before. Found out how to deal with them. Just beat their asses. Yep. That's, I'm sure, what the game intended me for me to do there. Praise Jeebus. Okay, I'm getting a little bit more used to this game. First line of the beginner's guide for this game. If you suck at video games, close the video and don't buy this game. You ain't got no hope, my friend. You ain't got no hope. Excuse me? Bitch. Oh my god, what a jump. All right. 
Alright, can I go under here? Alright, I already did. Okay, so I've already... Is this a place that I've already been, or is this a new place? Let me look. Yeah, I've already been here. But we can go up there. I think there was another secret up there, though. There was another secret, I thought. Over here. The speedruns of this game are insane. It would be fun to learn to speedrun this game. Try to fight bosses with absolutely nothing. Okay, so let's go... Let's keep climbing here. We didn't go this way. Can I go in here? The western bridge key is required. I already went in here, right? Yeah, I did. There's gonna be like so many insane skips. Thanks for everybody. Thank you so much for all the subs. Rams and Fish and Tells, Little Zen Buddha, King Air, Nodding, Zeno, Joshua, everybody else. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. How was Final Fantasy? Uh, not my favorite, man. Not my favorite. That's why I'm not playing it. Not my favorite. This game is fun, though. It's got... It definitely has a certain charm to it. I need the storage room key to go in there. I want to jump up here, but it doesn't look like I can. Let's look at the map. It says there's a ramp here. It's talking about this. Oh, can I... Can I somehow get that thing to fall down? See this thing? Maybe? Oh. Wait. Hold? Wait? Okay, we gotta go up there. Okay. Looks like there's something back there, too. Let's try this. Let's go this way. And then we go over here. Can I just straight up jump over there? If you just stay close to them, then they're trying to do their little throwy thing at you. So some monsters you can just zerg down. I'm not going to put those points in until I know what I need. I have a hat on. I have a better chest piece. This is with the one-handed straight sword. I need one strengthy thing and one little booky thing like that okay I'm gonna try the sword now Use a pick to mine if I have one, okay. Where do you... Okay. Yeah, we can mine now. Yo, I forgot something. That blacksmith... That blacksmith uh, 
had stuff that he was selling, right? I should have looked at what he had. He might have had a great weapon. Let's go see what the blacksmith has. A fishing rod? Wait, when you die, you lose all of your gold? To have 75 gold. First of all, give me that fishing rod. A bow? This seems like it would be godly. Let's get a shovel and let's get a fishing rod. Okay. Ready, boys? Oh, my God. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I have one silver. Oh, so I'm rich. Wait, if I have one silver. Oh, you're right. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Now I learned some new recipes. Can I cook them here? Damn it. How do I how do I use it? Use the item. How do I I don't get it. How do, how do I use it? Press Y, that's what I was doing. Okay, now it works. Bug or something? Thank you. That's what I was. That's what I was pressing. All right. Well, I bought these for no reason. Press Y. Sell. Oops. Okay. Y. Sell. So hard to remember what button is what. Okay. 
cell. Right trigger. Confirm. Confirm. I want to go cell. Left trigger. I don't need this. Okay. There we go. Now I can sit here. Make 17 of these. Leave it on mushroom soup for now. Okay. At least I blocked it. Well, I thought I was moving around him well, but apparently not. I don't, I, I really don't know, understand what happened there. All I did was press roll twice, but then he rolled an additional time. I'm not exactly sure why. Not a stamina. Okay, that's a problem. Stamina, gotta pay attention. Swing, swing, swing! Alright. We won. It wasn't pretty, but we won. Jesus Christ. Parry, nah, I tried parrying earlier. Parry blows. You have to hit it like frame perfect. Parrying sucks. Having low stamina is absolute dog shit. That's what she said. The fights would be so much easier if you just had a lot of stamina. Pull the lever. Oh, it's an elevator. You don't fear me? I'll try parrying again, see what happens. Okay, got it that time. Okay. I'll make it quick. We don't mess around with archers. We just go straight for him. Can I pick up that crossbow, by the way? Wah. Small experience potion. Okay.
Oh, shit. Go back. These good guys or what? Oh, what's up, guys? If you make for sacrament, there are worse things than bandits up ahead. The great beast is loose in these glades. They say the father. Okay, RP, we don't have time for that. Obviously. I should have climbed that ladder, though, while I had the chance. Oh, God. Oh, God. You just laugh at me, bitch. Who's laughing now? Early access is not available till everyone until uh, March or uh, April. They gave some streamers a chance to try it to showcase the game. You can only play the very beginning. April 18th. April 18th. Can I... Where am I exactly? Well, I'm dead. That's where I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay, because I wanted to go up that ladder anyway. that treasure chest right there. How do I get that? Man. I want that treasure chest. Oh, remember this one? Yep. Look at that, boys. Alright, so how do I... Can I break through this? Now, how in the world? How in the world would I get up there? Can I climb this? Climb? Climb. There's no climb here. Pressing the button to jump up. With a pickaxe. We could break it, maybe, yeah. The pickaxe is just like a... Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I think you'd have to come from the other side. Okay, so if we climb here... How would we... How would we get down there? Oh, I have an idea. Oh my god, watch this. Oh, it goes... Wait, I thought the elevator... Oh, yep, watch. Pull the elevator. Go this way. And then we're... Now we're gonna go down. Because the elevator brought us up last time. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Open this. A blue hood? Oh my god. 
I mean, I am the blue hoodie guy. It's only fair. It's worse than my white one. Wow. Thanks, Obama. They gave me a blue hoodie and it's worse than my white one. Take me now, Jesus. A feather ring? <laughs> okay. Now we need to activate. Okay, and now I see how to get up. You go here, you go up the ladder. Yeah, okay. You climb here. Okay, I'm understanding now. You go here, you pull the lever. Now we're going up this time. Yeah. Do a jump there. We found these guys. Okay. Okay. Apparently this is... I wouldn't have guessed that this is a new place. But apparently it is. Did I... Did I get it? Okay. I... I'm pressing Y, help me. Okay, it's not working. Let me move away. Uh. Oh. Do I already have this one? I already have it, I guess. Oh. I already have it. When did I get that? Uh-oh. It's warning me. I'm about to get my ass kicked, right? Yeah, we're just going to not go that way. It would be cool if you could cut the grass. What is that thing? Well, I'm dead. Hopefully he just doesn't see me here. Nice and easy. Roll, 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 roll. Okay. Um, okay. Dodge that one. Oh, let's get back up here. Well, I can't explain to you how difficult it is with so little stamina. I press a block and a step, and I'm completely out of stamina, and you can't fight anymore. 
Like, I guess that's the entire point of the combat system, but man, dude, you do, you do two things and you're completely out of stamina. Oh, it's, oh. What resource has been depleted? You just leave the fishing pole there? Yeah, the whole, uh, I don't know. I, was he facing the other way? I thought I was behind it. I thought, okay. Oh, time to die. I rolled and my guy stood still and did nothing. What, what? I rolled, but you just stood there. Try again. Oh, yeah, I guess you could level stamina. I don't know. Uh, yeah. The thing that I don't understand is, why did he aggro? I guess he's, I guess I'm facing, I guess I'm behind him right now. All right, let's see if we can do this. So how do you roll in this game? When I press A, okay, you got to press it twice. That's my problem. And I have no stamina by the time I reach him to do any damage. I forgot that you have to press it twice to roll. Yeah, I don't know, man. Where did my shield go? Where did my shield go? My shield got unequipped. How did my shield get unequipped? How did that happen? I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Oh, he, he broke it? Is that what happened? Look at the fucking range of the attack! He hit me from the entire opposite 
End of the solar system! Are you fucking, you have to be fucking, you actually have to be fucking kidding me. Fuck you. Okay, I killed him. Starting to understand, but why is my shield not on? That's what I want to understand. Why did why did this get get taken off? What did I do? Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, I beat him, but for what, though? I had jumped down. Kill the super hard boss, die to the stone pit, or die to the little pit. Okay, so... I... What did we kill him for? I guess he gave me a new gear, right? Any of this any good? This guy is back alive. Swing, 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 swing. Holy shit. Holy shit swing. Purple boots. I don't know what I just did there. Down, down. These pants suck Bigfoot's dick. Jelly Alon, thank you so much for the subs and the primes, guys. Can we climb this? Okay. What is this thing? It's 
nothing. Oh god. Double rolled, nothing happened. My, my stamina is so low, man. How did that hit me? I spent the entire time running away from it. My shield broke. That's not good. No, dude. I need something much better than what I have out. But if I hold up, I'm going to die. Thank God. Okay, I need to kill him right now. Oh 
Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here! Yo. Uber Lilith down. <laughs> god. Need, uh, need more stamina. If I had a lot more stamina, it would be a much easier fight. Just these low-level staminas where you press two buttons and you're completely gassed is rough. My friend here has his guard up for good reason. Once the Rangers took the old fortress, their bloodshed has drawn more and more of those things towards our city. How did you manage to slay that monstrosity? Oh my god. Your serum. The Watcher's call has been answered. Ha! I told that old coot he was wasting his time. For once, I'm glad I was wrong. Sarah, yeah, you can level up your stamina. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. Your kind's welcome within our walls. I trust you'll find a home here. Seek the Watcher up in the Rookery. Welcome to Sacrament. You guys were literally right there, and you probably have archers on the wall, and you guys couldn't have shot some arrows in the guy I fought. I think this is as far as you can go. What'd you guys think of it? Can anyone play the demo? No. Only some content creators who are given access. It's a tough game. It's very tough. What what is it? It's a it's a beta for everyone next in, or April eighteenth. Is that what it is? Beta for everyone April eighteenth. Yeah, there's a if you want to get it uh, on Twitch anyway. Down below there's a there's a banner. No rest for the wicked. If you want to get it, you can click on the link. Uh, I'm definitely going to play it on the beta, definitely, see how far I can get. I mean, I can beat the whole thing. I'm much, and uh, now I understand, there's definitely a learning curve to it. You got to, like, figure it out a bit, but now I'm, now I'm a much better fighter. Okay, if you buy the game, if you buy, if you buy the game, you get early access. Is there an obvious reason? No. Some other streamers already leaked the starting screen. I don't know why. But on the starting screen, it says, do not stream the starting screen. So this is exactly why I'm not holding why. But some streamers already leaked it. So yeah, I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know why they can't see the starting screen. I have no idea. Yeah, I've never played a Dark Souls game, so it took me a while to figure out the combat, but now I now I understand.
they're testing your ability to follow instructions, well, then maybe they will work with me again in the future. I, I, I literally don't think there's any, if I showed you the starting screen, you, you wouldn't think it's just a starting screen, man. There's, there's nothing to it. You're not missing anything. I'm very surprised that I one-shotted that boss. I didn't even have any of the best foods. All of my mushroom soups were out. I'm very surprised that I one-shot that boss without putting the, my points into stamina. It's very rough in the beginning. You, you do anything. You roll once, you block once, you're out of stamina. You can't do anything. And stamina also impacts your ability to attack, by the way. send you a copy i want to try it i don't have copies to send if you buy the game down in my profile you will have access on april 18th for the beta and lee whatever you do don't drive over to my apartment and sit here and play the game because uh that's illegal and i would never let you do that so don't even think about it I don't know how it looks to you guys, but it's more difficult. I think it's more difficult to play than it looks. Um, it's like you're playing chess with even even with the regular monsters. It's very, very calculated, like which attack is he going to do? Do I have stamina? Am I going to roll left or right or back or am I going to block or parry? And then immediately after that, if he follows up, how am I going to make sure that I have at least one point of stamina to deal with another attack after I attack? It's like, you know. And yeah, as we saw with some of the fights, as we saw with some of the fights, they will predict what they think you're going to do. So, for example, the guy that throws the fireballs, if you start backing up and he throws a fireball and you continue to back up, he will hit you further back with the fireball dead on. Okay, so we have two choices. I can go back and play Last Epoch, or I can do another playthrough of this and try to die way less times. I, I'm going to do a straw poll. I'll let you guys pick. What should we do? Another run. Last Epoch. Whatever you vote for, that's what we're going to do. Here is the poll going in the chat right now. Let's see what happens. Whatever you vote for is what we're going to do. Okay, it looks like Last Epoch is going to win. Okay. Okay. Most people want to see Last Epoch. That's pretty obvious. Let's do Last Epoch. Then. So we Alt F4 out of here. It's in the estimate was 90. Probably did way too much exploring, but I was having fun. Yeah, happy to show you the game. If you want to wish list it or if you want to buy it for the beta, there's a panel down below.
I don't get anything from it. I don't get any commission or anything. Cool game. I'll definitely play it on the 18th. Okay, play online, let's go. Where can we buy it? Down in my profile. Or you can just put it on your wish list. There should be a banner there that takes you to the link. Would I consider it an ARPG? Hmm. An ARPG doesn't require you to kill hundreds of monsters per minute. An ARPG doesn't require you to kill a boss in two seconds like normal. The main thing that I would say is, the main thing that I'd say there is, you have to have patience, and just in general, you've got to be a pretty good video game player. If you are not a pretty good video game player, I am really not sure how far you can get in that game. Gear can only get you so far. I got more and more gear, and it didn't really improve my character at all. I used my starting mace pretty much for 95% of that first act. Um, you've just got to be able to look at the telegraphs, step out of them, dodge them, block or parry when it's when it's up, roll away, sneak in one or two attacks, save your stamina, run away, kite while you heal yourself. You just have to you just have to play well. If you don't play well, you are you you just won't be able to you won't be able to do anything. Yep, let's go back to last epoch. There we are. Put on the music, yes. The D4 patch notes are out. Is there anything significant in them? Should we actually look at them or? Did I already rage quit? I beat it. The opposite. I beat it. I beat the final boss.
Was it the open world that I hated about the new Final Fantasy? Yes. Like, I probably could have stomached it if I could have just ridden around on my Chocobo. But even that was an absolute nightmare. It was a nightmare, man. I'm actually surprised that it released like that. I haven't played 16. People said it's really good. I have 16. I already bought it. How much was the buff to Blood Surge? That's my question. Yeah, the Poison Creeper was already one of the Druid's best leveling skills. The Nova damage is increased by 40%, so it's much better on single target and worse in massive density. I think the little four-legged furry friend needs to needs to relieve herself. So let me uh after this let me go take care of her. Let me go let her out. Okay, they're all bad, right? Okay, let me go let her out. Be right back, guys.
decadent Jason Saglin Yo Face Thand War. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Okay. Let's keep going with the big boy here. The big boy, aka the warlock. All right. Okay. So what I would really like is I would like to find Jim Tomes. Let's try to find some more Jim Tomes. Wonder if it's worth buying this game. La are you talking about Last Epoch? Last Epoch is absolutely worth buying. Last Epoch is Mucho El Gudo. For those of you that don't speak Spanish, Mucho El Gudo means very good. It's absolutely worth 30 bucks. It's worth 30 bucks all week long. Probably all month long, too. PoE 2 is coming. What I have heard is Last Epoch and PoE are going to release their seasonal starts opposite each other. So Last Epoch and PoE might give you a perfect little balance in between seasons. Play Last Epoch for a month. Play PoE for a month. Play Diablo 4 for... Uh, We'll see, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> An hour. <laughs> Voltex, thanks for the prime, man. Okay, I think they're all going to die. And guys, I'm feeling that itch again. Uh-oh. I think I might have to make another character soon. I know I just made like 15 new characters, but I might have to make another one. I'm thinking about making that Necromancer Wraith Lord Ultimate Dicker of Death dude. Where is the Pally? We played the Pally earlier. My Paladin's coming along quite nicely. I got like 15 levels on the Paladin earlier. We've already been streaming for like, I don't know, how long, five hours? We've already been, we've been blasting, man. 
Got some levels on my Spellblade. My Spellblade is cool. Definitely a cool character, but might be a little bit too slow for me. Not loving the Spellblade. Like my Pally. I like my Warlock, but we might have to make something else. We can't just have three characters. That shit's weak. Tacos al Pastor. We just ordered tacos. We're going to have tacos from a local Mexican restaurant. It's going to be great. Is the storyline in this good? I don't know what the story is in Last Epoch, but I have made up lore for Last Epoch. Would you like to hear my version of the lore? Bob had two epochs. He lost one of them. And now he's down to his last epoch. That's it. That's basically right. I figured. I mean, it had to be. If that's not it, it's got to be close, right? If that's not it, it's got to be close. What else could it be, really? I'm going for the Jim Tomes, always. Yeah. Do I normally play ARPGs with right click to move, left click to attack? I don't set it up either of that way. I force move. I move with my side mouse button. I don't click to move. I force move. You want you want a force move. Uh-oh. The four-legged creature is in one of her moods. She's about to go ape shit. I can feel it. I have a question, guys. For any of you players that play Dark Soul games, it feels like making guides for those kinds of games would actually be like in pretty high demand to try to figure out how to beat a freaking boss or how to get really powerful early. Is that a true statement? I've never watched any content for a Dark Souls game. Or, or anything like it. Because I could probably learn to shit on these bosses and show you guys a build in that new game so you could win. Guides defeat the purpose of soul games. I see what you're saying, yes. The whole point of it is to have a massive challenge, but... Some people like to play with a guide anyway, I would guess, and you can just use the guide after you've already given up. Like, you tried 50 times, you absolutely can't get it, so you check the guide for a hint so you can actually progress. So I think guides would still have a place there. The Guide of Shame. <laughs> kind of.
These warlocks are pretty strong, man. Um, I'm purposely, so my life is constantly converted into ward. It's trying to drain it as low as possible to be low life. If I stand still, it's not going to kill me, but... And then we stack our ward as high as we can. I have a pathetic amount of a ward right now. We want to get it to at least 10,000, but just don't quite have what we need yet. And I very unfortunately on all my best gear pretty much ripped all the slams that I did. Very upsetting. Yeah, on a hardcore character, it's even more nerve wracking, right? Why does Last Epoch hate us so much that they don't give us a key ring? I play online. Making our way to 93. Wow. Sometimes dreams do come true, guys. Got a legendary back there. An omelet.
And look how many idols I just got right there. Let's go get more idols, I guess. Stop picking them up if you just do mono. Do you mean the keys? Are you talking about the keys, Richard? Yeah, but you need the keys, though. You need the Temporal Sanctum not only to slam your items, but you also need it to skip the campaign on your alts, right? But yeah, um, I don't, I don't really know if I will, well, I need the Lightless Arbor keys too. Lightless Arbor drops a lot of Biss items. They drop the Biss shield, the Biss helmet, and the Biss boots for a lot of classes. So you can't, you got to keep the Lightless Arbor keys too. Now, what's the other one? Soulfire Bastion? I don't know about those. Can probably sell the arena keys. But you can't sell Lightless Arbor. And you can't sell Temporal Sanctum. What about, uh, do you, is there any reason to keep Soulfire Bastion keys? Bastion has the belt for Torment Warlock. I think, I think last epoch said, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think last epoch said, not only are they going to give us a key ring, but I think it's coming next patch. Actually, I think we're getting a key ring and it's in 1.1. 1 .1. So they already made it. It comes out next patch. Can I show you my stats on my lock? I'll show you my stats on my lock. Only if you promise to laugh at the idea that I'm somehow still alive. Because I think when I show you my resistances, you're going to laugh your ass off at me. If you promise, then I will show you. Not capped, not even close to capped, not capped, half of what it should be, half of what it should be. This is supposed to be 300, it's 235. All of these are supposed to be capped. The only one that's capped is the one that's free to cap. My health is supposed to be 2.5, it's 1909. My ward is supposed to be 10k, it's 5k. My bleed damage is supposed to be uh, like, 500 minus 298. My warlock is literally an absolute 
piece of shit. It's unbelievable that I haven't died yet. Like, he's still alive. This is absolutely crazy. A true, absolute piece of shit. That's my warlock. I'm sure you can, Ashkelon. When you use Rune of Ascendance, guys, you can get you can get legendary potential on it, right? Certainly you can. Why are the drops repeated? It's the same drops that you got before, or? Uh, I don't know. I wonder, I wonder if that was a mistake. I don't know. Maybe that was a mistake. Give people a chance that missed it. They're just doing a rerun for people who missed it. Oh, okay.
you like Last Epoch better than Diablo 4 because they just allow you to blast monoliths. Feels pretty good just to get in there and jump into the next map, doesn't it? What's the best place to farm fulgurite shards? I don't... Is that a unique? I don't even know what that is. The Dire Straits, what a god tier band. Dude, I have to do T3 Jolra. I have to do T3 Jolra to slam this. I also have this. Do you guys think my warlock can do T3 Jolra? What does she do? Void damage? Should we try for fun? Okay, let's look up the bleed warlock here. Huskers, thanks for the 21 months, man. Full and Kurtz, thanks for all the last epoch guides on YouTube, dude. You're welcome, man. Thanks for the resub. Obtuse Fang, thanks for the gifted sub, man. Fiax attacks. Thank you for the prime. I'm still the man. Thanks for saying that, buddy. Trying. We're trying. Okay, bleed warlock. Apparently, getting an Oshi an Osharion. With legendary potential is not super common. The guy doesn't even recommend to even slam anything into it. That must mean that the legendary potential is rare. But eight int, int, cold res, and health are the top three. Int, cold res, and health.
All right, let's sell some arena keys. There ain't no way I'm going to do that many arenas, so. We're going to find a million more keys, so. I think that's enough. I think that's enough to sell for now. Mmm, stash tabs. Mmm, mmm. Wow, look at those stash tabs we're going to buy. Okay. So let's look for the best exalted rings that we have. We want cold res, health, or int. Exalted. Let's see if we have any of that. And then if we have it, we're going for T7, obviously. And then we're going to slam it and not get what we want. And then we are going to punt a kitty into another dimension. It's going to be the punt of the ages. No, kitty, no. It's going to be flying. Okay, so now we can do a quick check. Drop them all on the ground. That one is the only tier 7 ring that I have, this one. It does have cold res on it too, by the way. I'm tempted to do the cold res rings because cold res is not going to be bis for any other thing. So this already has int this already has the three best things. So we already we already beat the game. This is T7. Oh. Wait. Okay, we don't really care about the minion health right now. We need to get these to T5. Now we could seal this off or we could try to re-roll it to try to get it we try to get it plus eight. I think we try to get it to plus eight, right? Try to get it to plus eight or plus seventy-five. The health roll is terrible as well, so. Well, plus eight, what I mean from, from that is 67 to 75 is what I was meaning. 
we made it better. Let's let's keep that. Let's let's live with that result. Let's chaos this off. I I don't know if the prefix's healing effectiveness seems super dog shit. Let's chaos it off. Not gonna well. What we want is fizz, right? Fizz damage is a thing. Uh, dex would be really good. Fizz damage, dex, mana regen. Yeah, we, there's too many good things we have to try again. I'm actually not sure how good that is. Can't, can't be good, though. Okay. This is excellent. This is an excellent ring. We have a 75% chance to put something massive on this on this. Int, cold res, or health would be godly. We just need to not hit the one in four. As long as we don't hit the one in four, we're going to Disneyland. And then we need to make something for this as or the frostbite shackles as well. Frostbite shackles could have We really just want hybrid health of the shackles. <laughs> All right, be right back one second.
All right. What? Uh, sure. Not the best thing for her, but it'll be fine. All right. Let's go slam some stuff. We also need to make a pair of gloves. And according to this, the only good thing really to slam into it is either the ward conversion or hybrid health. So... Here's hybrid health. Here's hybrid health again. Probably never going to hit it, but here's health. Better than nothing. Here's cold res hybrid health. Cold res hybrid health int. <clears throat> okay. All right, this is what we have. <clears throat> we got six choices. The best would be hybrid health. Is this T7? Yeah, this is T7 hybrid health. This is T6 hybrid health. So this is the best one. Shred armor is not good. Or wait, shred armor, is that good for me? <clears throat> this has got to be for my paladin, right? Got to save this for the paladin, maybe. It's like almost perfect. If I could seal this off, then it would be perfect. Let's try sealing it one time. If it doesn't work, then we go, we give it to the Paladin. All right, so this is going to the Paladin. So everything here is bad. So the only way we fix this is by removing the, we need to at a minimum remove the endurance. So we got to try not to hit the hybrid health here. Wow. But I only have 16 potential now. I should have put the glyph of hope. So I bricked it because of my own stupidity. We're going to have to hit a miracle now. Forgot to add the glyph of hope. Okay, that was incredible. <laughs> um, uh, nah, probably not. This is really good, but it has crit chance on it is the problem. I could definitely try this. Definitely a contender. Uh, would much rather that this be health, but shred armor is pretty good. Let me try something here. Let me see if I can go. This says I need. So that must be. Okay, wait a minute. This is a... So let's see. It's going to be a Glyph of Insight Calculator. Glyph of Insight Calculator. <clears throat> it 
Does anybody have a link to the tool? Anybody have a, a, a t link to the tool for the Glyph of Insight? Thank you. Okay, here we go, guys. Time to have some fun with some crazy ass crafting. So this could be So it's two no two seven. And it's on gloves. Okay, so <clears throat> I would get T2 If I seal a prefix of T2 or higher, I could do I could make it better. Okay, so the first thing is let's try to seal this off. Okay. Okay. And and it's it works. It works right now. So it works right now. Glyph of hope, or no, glyph of insight. Uh, oh, it, it changes one. Okay, so <clears throat> let's add dex. Okay, so it changes it. So now it's tier one. We're gonna need to level this to tier two. Now we change it. Now we're gonna change it into percent of current health lost. So this should work. According to the calculator, if I'm reading this correct, this should be current health lost, missing health gained as ward. And we did it. We did it. Feels good, man. It's only six though, which is terrible. Well, we need to put anything here and we need more decks. So let's put decks here and then we need to chaos this into either hybrid health or cold res. Crit strike avoidance is also an option. I guess that's fine. If we could get all of these to T5, maybe. Oh my god, we did it. And I hit this, and we crit this to T4. Wow. The 33 crit avoidance, if I hit that, would make me crit cap. The 8 dex would put me at 10. The health lost and health, health gained as ward per second is my BIS stat, and it's plus 144 health. So I guess we slam this. It's pretty damn good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. And so I guess... How much LP does it have? Zero. Or my gloves? One. Yeah, we crit the experimental affix. That was cute. Critting that experimental affix was quite cute, really. Uh, 
That was that was a cutie patootie one right there. <clears throat> All right. Now we have two things to slam. This and my ring, which is this. Um, I can absolutely lose on the ring. I need to not hit the potion health. As long as I don't hit that, it's a huge upgrade. Here, all of them are an upgrade, so I will just get stronger. I'm just going to get stronger no matter what. So that's nice. So I have a massive chance to get two upgrades here. Oops. How do you get an experimental affix on a legendary with the glyph of insight, I believe it's called? What idols am I running? Just shitty resistance ones because my resistances are so bad. Thank you for bringing that up, though, because now we need void res. Six void res, seven void res. Is T3 Jolra with 54 void good enough? Maybe not. Nine, 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 eleven, twelve. Here's 15. Let's do the 15. Okay, 69 Keck W. Okay. Tier 3, level 95 Jolra. What could go wrong? I'm going to try to kill her. If she kills me, it's okay. We tried. Just going to take it nice and slow. I'm going to try to not let Jolra hit me at all. If she kills me, she deserves it. Are there always two doors? Let me check the other door. I thought there was more than one door, but I could be wrong. There's always two options for going forward. Yeah. So I'm just going to try to be as safe as possible. I'm going to look for both options and pick the one that gives her the least amount of damage. To try to not die. 40 or 40. They're the exact same. Okay. Okay. 40 or 40, not much of a choice. A sealed affix can't be, uh, yeah, sealed affix can't be added to a unique, you're right. Leon, thank you for the 100 bits. What exactly does the tier list on max roll for corruption mean? How far could you push in corruption? I don't know the exact number on it. It just means that when you get, how I interpret that is the higher in corruption you get, you're going to be struggling. You're going to be struggling to do 
or, you know, relative to the other, I don't know the, the, the tier, but relative to the higher builds, maybe you get to 500 corruption and it starts to get real hard. Didn't I have a bigger warlock yesterday that did T4 Jewelra? I've never, I've never even attempted T3 Jewelra. This is my first attempt with any character on T3. I got 69 void res. So we're going to see how this goes. I could die. And if I die, it's all right. Not a big deal. Could die. But I wanna I wanna upgrade my gear, so I have I have to do her on T three. How does this compare in difficulty? The mechanics are not as difficult as a POE boss, but the one shot potential is absolutely there. Jora might just kill me in one hit, it's possible. This door is 30 damage, 50 health. Probably a good choice, but let's see if we can find the other one. It's probably going to be a good one. All right, here we go. I can't get hit by anything. She might kill me in one hit. Let's see. This is going to be the hardest boss I've ever fought on any of my hardcore characters. Oh, this thing is still going? Bitch. All right, we got her. That feels good. I don't think even I don't even know if she hit me with anything. I think I dodged everything she did. Hmm. That was nerve wracking. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's do the ring. Now, anything is fine. The best thing would be the cold res. Probably the cold res or the health or the in anything but the potion health. As long as we don't get the potion health, it's fine, but we want 71 cold. Ready? 71 cold is what we want. Ready? Boom. Okay, you guys look, not me. Not the potion stuff. Cold? Not potion? That was by a mile the worst possible thing that could have happened.
so I can't even explain how bad of a result that was. I just lost 71 cold res or 75 health or 8 int. That's the absolute by far worst thing that could have happened. By far. That's and that's that's a rare ring with very rare LP. Very rare ring, pretty not a not the rarest ring, but a rare ring with rare LP on it. That's the only one I've ever found. That's very disappointing. I made I, that ring, that exalted ring that I made that I slammed into it was a very nice ring too. I lost the ring as well. The best ring I ever found for this build to slam into it. So I lost, not only did I rip the unique, but I also ripped the exalt. Well, time to do the, uh, time to do the gloves. The gloves can't fail. The gloves are all good. Everything on the gloves is good. So. Everything for the gloves is good. Let's see. If this is 40% or less, I'll just take it. It's fine. I'm running Ghost, Ghost Flame. Is Decrepify one of the nodes? I can't explain how big of a rip that was. All I needed was not that. All I needed was not that. I had a 75% chance to massively improve my ring. I hit the one in four. All right, here we go. T3 Jolra again. The showcase earlier was pretty good, actually, man. It was pretty good. I beat the demo of the new Dark Souls-esque game.
and make sure the explosion isn't going off back there. Okay. Same exact thing. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we really can't fail this time. So 144 health would be good. Crit avoidance would get me crit capped. The eight decks would be nice as well. And the health loss per second missing health gained as ward would be good. So we can't lose here. Decks might be the worst. The decks would be the worst option. But it's still an upgrade. Can't fail here. Um, the health, the crit avoidance, or the 8% current health loss, health gained as ward would be good. Preferably not the dex, but not the worst if we get the dex either. Okay, you guys look. Not dex. Not dex. Okay, so now we can't be crit, so uh, once we go once we go fix uh once we go fix our blessing. Okay. Take it. Now I don't have to get it on a ring. No no it's funny, that ring I made, the ring that I made is better than my ring. I should have worn the ring that I made. I didn't realize what a piece of shit my ring is here. I didn't realize. The ring that I lost, the exalted one, is better than, well, a lot better than mine. This one is much better than mine, too. Let me just make myself a better ring real quick. Could have put the decks on here, by the way. I would have been smarter. I mean, this is this is way better than my ring. This one might be better too. I need to chaos this into something useful though. That would not be useful. That would also not be useful. I could use this for slamming later. And later, let me see, what do I slam here? I slam I just I just straight up wear an exalt in decks. I just wear in decks. So I almost have Actually I 
actually almost have... You know what we could do? If we hit T5 decks here, we could try... We could try a removal. We could try the, the ultimate YOLO. But this ring is so good for slamming. I would have to hit the 1 in 4, and then I'd have to recreate 8 int out of the elemental. The odds of that happening with 17 potential, including the cost of the removal, is close to zero. Probably shouldn't do it. There's just no way it's going to hit. Don't need this ring, that's for sure. Let's just stop there, I guess. Stop there for now. Uh, okay, let's do that. Okay, let's go like that. Okay, so what happened here? We got 33% chance to not be crit, and we got nothing, and we just straight up made a much better ring. It's not perfect, but... So let's put away some of these idols now. Because I... So I need one for Fizz. This is an option. Okay, I actually have this capped now. And then we can go dual elemental, right? Three and three, three and three. Okay. And now I need to redo the dragon monolith is what I need to do. And I need, because this can be 70, I can pick up 17. As long as I get 67 or higher, then I cannot be crit anymore, right? I think I'm missing 7, or I'm missing 4, is it 14? 14, yeah, 14 is the right number. Okay, so I need a 67 or higher on the dragon boss, and then we can't be crit anymore. Have I reviewed it or rated this game? I just released my review for it on my YouTube. If you exclamation YT, I think it's my most recent or my second most recent video. I just did it. Hi, Seattle. How are you? Kilo, thank you for the prime. Always love your content and everything from Maxwell. Thanks, Rax. You're welcome, dude. Appreciate that. Okay, well... a much lower chance that I'm going to be crit now, but I still can be crit. I have a 14% chance to be crit. So we need to do the dragon boy to guarantee that we can't be crit. Because that's probably what will kill me. Is Wand offhand better than a staff? According to Lizard, it is. There's a there's a very nice shield that you can use. A very nice, unique shield. That's probably why. Kind of chugging here a little bit.
So it'll tell you right here. Resistances are capped. This works like this for everything in the game. You can just mouse over it. They penetrate 1% resistance up to 75. It applies after the resistance cap. So extra resistances above 75 have no effect unless they shred. They can be brought down below zero. Let's see, that doesn't really answer the question. Looks like it's 1% for each. 10 for 10. So the only reason to go above the cap is if monsters shred your resistance. Can you watch the dev stream, sir? Uh, I probably won't watch it. Do you guys want to listen to it? We could listen to it. You guys want to hear the last Epoch dev talk about last Epoch instead of music? Okay. Okay, let's do that. Looking for it here. Thought I was following it. What's the dev? What's it called? What's the stream called? I thought it was just called Last Epoch. Last Epoch game. <laughs> okay, I found it. I am following. I think that should be fixable though. Like, like if we change, um, are there any other abilities that we change like fundamentally from like a spell? How's the volume, guys? There must be. Of course, there is. There's all of the, um, all of these puncture, puncture, flurry, and um, sinister strike, all change between melee and bow. So yes, it is slow. Possible. That's as high as I can turn it. it up. Sounds like a bug. To I me. put it at max. Uh, will there be a Paragon-based system giving uh, incentive to keep playing once you reach level 100? Thanks, Elspeth. Awesome. You're welcome. Thanks for playing it. Um, we we really like the idea of the primary leveling system, like like a, a more of a traditional, like, you get experience, you get levels. Like that type of system having a cap, having a hard cap, and not continuing on. Um, so I don't think that there'd be a Paragon system in the sense of a, um, like... D3 In Paragon system, like, like which is the most like infinite basic, scaling. straightforward version of it. Um, I think we will continue to look at other end game progression systems that are decoupled from experience. So, for example, the um, it is it is really interesting because like the, the circle the, of fortune, um, the factions were initially planned on being um, uh, the, the factions were initially planned with all the keybinds are reset to default, right? That's the problem. Um, I'm like clicking my mouse and it's not opening this. <laughs> um, the, the getting to rank 10 on the factions was originally designed as a post 100 goal. It was like, like you wouldn't even hit, I think like level 100 was like here on the leveling progression. Or like, like right here was like level 100 initially. Um, so you'd still have a very significant, and it's it's the the amount is an exponential growth. So it's like level two, level two hundred was like here type thing, and it, and not not quite that much because um, the levels are exponential. So I guess the amount, amount of experience you need to hit a hundred again was here, which would not translate to two hundred in the scaling. But sorry, I'm rambling a bit. My point is is that we cranked down the amount of experience time estimate required for higher ranks in this due to feedback right near the end. Um, and I think it's tricky to have a um, a, a super late game um, progression system like that when you are uh, when level one hundred is already so so high. We we want like we want the that that level hundred to be an achievement to be something that you're not expected to do. 
which is a pretty big departure from like a lot of other popular games like for example Diablo 4 you're expected to hit level cap you're not expected to hit level cap in LE so we're, we're trying to decouple some of those like late game um, progression systems from your character and also from your experience Uh, any plan? So I guess the answer to the question is n no, but we do plan on having more end game progression systems. They just won't be coupled to experience. Uh, any plans to improve the bazaar? Yes, maybe adding an API. No, so the community can make use of it. Um, we do not plan to add an API, so you'll still need to use the in game systems in order to um, to, to to access the bazaar's information. Um, we do plan on, and we're already working on improvements for that system right now. So you'll you'll be seeing you'll be seeing upgrades happening. Um, that that'll like start starting with just small UI things, um, to actual functional changes that'll help. Sorry about that. Love one point Thank you. Me too. Um, will linking game guides get loving? Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. Um. Like that that should just like I don't know my chat's disabled, but like that should just work. I don't know why it's not. But yes, we're working on it. I know it was working at one point and it was fantastic. Um are you guys happy with the state of factions right now? Should we expect changes, especially for Merchant Sealed? Um so I mean overall I'm thrilled with how factions are going. I think that there's the roughly expected amount of uh, changes that need to be made on them still. So, like, we never expect them to be perfect right out of the gate. Um, but I think we're seeing really positive uh, initial reception to it, which is fantastic. Um, and there's definitely places to improve on both of them. We're yes. listening to a Last um, Epoch dev the, talk about Last Epoch live. That's what we're listening functionality to. functionality and um, usability love, I think, than anything else. So that's why I'm just kind there's, of chilling um, and listening. There were... There were some technical restrictions that we had going into the development of Merchant Skill initially um, that, like, three weeks ago disappeared. Um, so we can make some changes that we couldn't make initially. Thank you very much. Oh, we got some a, subs. There's subs happening. I didn't say Is this a Diablo clone? Um, <laughs> same genre oh, what game, the fuck? but Damage it's not, uh, it's not like Diablo 4. <laughs> DR. You know? Thanks, uh, thanks for the sub gift. Congrats to that. Uh, Z Froggy. Thanks, bud. Uh, and Woody Joe. Glad to have you guys with us. Hope you're having fun. Isn't Woody streaming right now? Um, have there been thoughts on having damage numbers for different types of damage, each of their own color? Absolutely, we've thought about this. We actually tried it. Um... Second half of the question. Wait, uh, I could see it being useful. Oh, it's fine. Um, the yes, we 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 we've considered it. We tried it. Um, we're not doing it. We we don't like the um. Basically, there's there's two sides of it. It adds too much clutter to the screen, um, where things are a little bit harder to read. The information on what, like what's, what's the topic here? Not, what is he not is, adding? Is, is, is a lot harder to convey at that point. We started doing like bold or like deeper versions of the colors. He's talking damage um, numbers or something. It just didn't feel right. There's there's enough colors that like your screen becomes a little rainbowy, you know. And there's the distinction between poison and necrotic, and cold and lightning becomes blurred. And we're like, okay, then we change our lightning to yellow. Um, so much of the effects is already in the blue range. Um, like th there was there's there's a lot of things that need to get changed in order to make that actually readable. And, and then at the end of the day, we're like, is that useful even? So the really important thing with, with damage types being really obvious on the battlefield, the important thing is for you to be able to tell your opponent's damage type very quickly. So you can say like, oh, that green thing is necrotic, or that deeper green thing is poison. I know I just picked like the worst example ever. Um, but like having that information be uh, more easy to understand based on what's coming. I mean, Actually, poison and necrotic, like, oh, even really though they're both handling fire damage. green, don't so, yeah, look the sure, same I'll, at all. I won't react quite as quickly to that fire uh, damage that's going out so you need to know that it's fire damage that's going out whereas if like oh it's that's cold damage like oh my god I, my cold resistance is terrible i've got to get out of that as fast as possible um so we're really looking more to have that clarity on the incoming damage than the outgoing damage uh congrats a lot thank you uh what was your philosophy when designing the classes and masteries class identity is super strong in the game and i love 
uh, to know more about how you went about establishing it. Yeah, so class identity, that's literally the term we use for one of like the main design pillars in the game is class identity. And 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 we really try to every little thing we do in my review i said that could out be of unique to a class any to any category for to, a to game that, that agenda of class identity class identity was the best thing that last um, did. and, and that opinion. comes down to little things like you know um visual style of abilities um even just like the timing of abilities um you know it's 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 all in the little details where that really gets um like where that shines i think We need more mana right about now. Um, I like have no basic attack. I have nothing on my bar that doesn't take mana. <laughs> just, just, just crank the mana efficiency up. Just crank the mana efficiency. Gotta do it. Um. The Falconer's Mark stuff is actually pretty sweet. Okay, fried. I don't know what I'm going to do with Bliss, if I'm going to keep that as part of the build or not. We'll see. We're just playing around having some fun. Um, can I answer that question? Oh, yeah, uh, Class Identity Pillars. Um, yeah, it's... I don't really know how far to deep you go in this, but it's it's everything. It's little things. So like, um, like helmet, chest, and relic are the class specific slots, you know, and and we really try and push push that information uh, of those like really flavorful things into those slots as well. Um, yes, please. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Are you guys considering expanding the leaderboards to all things other than the arena? Yes. Um, we are looking at ways to expand the, uh, leaderboards. Um, we don't have any specific plans yet. 1.1 will, I don't think have expanded leaderboard activities in it. Um, but having things like, uh, there's, there's been some good suggestions in here over the, over the years on, on alternate leaderboards that I really liked. Th things along the lines of like, um, time to complete dungeons at each tier and um, highest corruption to complete to kill Orbis or Shade of Orbis, sorry. Um, th th things like that, I think, could be really cool um, metrics to be able to see across the game. Um, it's going to take a little bit before we start adding in more leaderboards, um, but that is something we're interested in doing. Will there be more genders for all classes in the future? There's a high, high likelihood that we will do this at some point. Um, we have no specifics on when it will be. Um, this is something that is we've, we've talked about many times over the years. And typically we find people fall into one, one of two camps. Um, oh my god, this is the worst thing that we don't... like. This is the most important feature in the entire game. And, eh. This, this is kind of the two categories that everyone's in. Um, and I know this, there's, it's not... It is like an absolute for sure. but undisputed that's fact that um, it has absolutely and, no impact on the game whatsoever. Uh, and should this be is something that we know is, is a priority. It is so important to so many people that we do uh, such a low priority. Th there's a lot like, of incentive for us to add it in, and we want to add characters. Absolutely, it's not just no gender. Right? At all. Like it's um, it's it's little things too. Like it's body shape. It's uh, you don't see color. anything it's, in this you know, there's, game there's about your character. Like you can't see your face at all. You with lots of characters you make. Like, can't you, see you go jack look at my, shit. It means like, absolutely um, nothing. I've Gate three characters and my um, my Skyrim characters and like you know like you go through all these games, you look at these characters. I bet I like, I don't I don't know, but I bet that there are similar themes throughout each one of them. Um, I bet if you like, you could pick them out of a lineup type thing, and. You know, you don't, you don't, missing that is a really important thing for a lot of players. And so we do really want to deliver on that. Um, we have no information on when or what it's going to look like or any of those sorts of things. Um, but we do hear you that there are a lot of people looking for it. Uh, are there any plans to do a pass on Sentinel in future or just gameplay quality of life? 
Uh, finding a lot of scenarios, for example, where hammer skill is just hits objects in the game world and disappears, making you feel clunky, especially during boss fights. Um, short answer is, is yes. I think mean, that's the sort of stuff that we are uh, we are working on. Um, I, I don't think it's necessarily exclusive to Sentinel, these these issues. But yeah, there are... Um, there, there's, there's a fair few skills that are a little bit older that, like, there might be some assumptions we had about the game back then that need to be adjusted. Um, and, and they've just evolved over time with new items that have come in and new synergies that come in and things like that. So, yeah, there's 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 always room for improvement. The one thing I like to say a lot is that nothing really leaves the list. Like, if you, if you think of, like, the big list of, like, skill changes and, like, things that we need to do on these things, nothing really leaves the list. It just goes to, the, like, when we... Once we do a big update to it, it goes to the bottom of the list. And eventually it'll find its way back to the top of the list. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're working on those stuff. What's up, Mike? Hello, what's up? How's it going? Uh, in version 1.0, item tooltips are appearing at inconvenient positions, such as in front of the list of shards in materials panel. Will this be fixed, or will you keep it the way it is right now? Yeah, there's um, there were some changes that happened to the tooltips uh, very, very late in the game uh, that the positioning didn't get updated properly to go with it. Um, cause the anchors of the, uh, the tooltips got changed, um, unfortunately. So there's, there's some more things to be doing, done with that. Um, and yeah, we're on it. Uh, how often do you plan to release major patches and updates to the game? Um, we're looking at, we, I don't have a hard number to give you. We're, we're looking at sort of the, um, it's the big thing is we, we need to know, we need to get the 1.0 stuff, um, bundle up on a nice little bow before we transition too hard to the next patch. Um, but if you're looking for just like general ideas on how, how that's going to look for years to come, the plan is to be roughly similar to what you would expect from most other RPGs in the genre. Um, which is the most cryptic way of saying, uh, you know, we were roughly about, you know, three or four ish months, depending on if there's an issue, maybe it's five months, you know, uh, if, if it's a small patch, maybe it's less, I don't know, you know, like somewhere in that range. Um, and, and you know, like, it's subject to change based on how, like, the patches are being received and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, we're, we're looking at keeping things pretty regular. Um, hope we, our plan is to fall into a groove where we can, um, like, have, that, have the, that, that timing be more expected and reliable. So our, our, our players are, you know, able to be like, okay, well, like, there was one here. We can probably assume one's coming in, in and around here, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, I, yeah. It's what it's what you'd expect. <laughs> uh, general ideas slash philosophy on class balance. Um, feedback I've heard a lot is that newer masters often uh, have gotten more love and outdo some of the older masters. Yeah, it's it's really funny actually. So there was, um, but that's exactly how it should be. About a, I want to say, a few weeks, a few weeks before patch, maybe a month even. Um, for launch, there was a, a big concern that Falconer was really underpowered, and it was. <laughs> um, we overcorrected, I think. <laughs> um, no, which which is it's good and bad. We don't intentionally make new things more powerful than old things. I think we do try to. Okay, I'm gonna mute him right here. So. I've, to I've talked to Blizzard about this for years and years and years and years and years. And only finally in the last year or so did they agree and they, they let it go. Okay, so when you have a new season or a new patch, you absolutely want what I like to call a quote-unquote winner. It doesn't have to necessarily be something brand new, but something that got a major increase that's moving to S tier, that's really fun to play, that's really strong. This is absolutely the way. This is the formula that works every single time. There is no other consideration. There is no other option. Path of Exile just released the most broken season ever and the number of people that love it versus the number of people that hate it is they, they're completely dwarfed right way more people like it than hate it by a huge margin when ball lightning came out there were like three people mad about it and a million people happy about it it is perfectly okay 
when something new comes out to accidentally make it a little bit too powerful. You don't want to purposely target that, but you should target it to be S tier. Every single time that something new gets changed, if you just barely increase it and try to play it real safe, no one will get excited for what you are doing. This is how it goes every single time. Anyone who says to the contrary is wrong. I said it a million fucking times in the Diablo 3 PTRs. Something is absolutely way too strong. Don't nerf it. You can nerf it, but don't nerf it out of S tier. They over nerf it. Then the people log in on the patch day and they hate it. And then they quit. I've seen it a million times. You can nerf stuff. People, I, I don't agree with that. It's not that never, it's not never nerf, but you want winners in your patch. So the fact that you buffed Falconer and buffed Warlock at the end or whatever, they weren't strong enough, that was such a good move because so many people went Falconer and Warlock and if they had played their character up till Empowered Monoliths and thought that their character sucked, they would like your game less. It's a fact. So when someone says, well, some of the newer stuff that you released has come out really powerful, maybe more powerful than something already in the game, that's exactly what they should have done. Even if you're, even if you're picking up one that's like, um, oh, it's, it's uh, plus crit multi and you're never doing any crit multi stuff ever. I don't know, bad example, because crit multi is great. Um, but there's... If, if if there's a situation like that, you know, you maybe you end up stockpiling up, you know, a thousand crit multi shards, and you're like, what do I do with these? They're useless, so why do I pick them up? Um, we want to have a way to, that you can exchange those at a slight loss, um, uh, for for other shards. So you can you can you know, okay, I'm, I've got a bunch of these stocked up. Well, I I'm really struggling to find you know level of shuriken shards, so I'll convert all these strength shards into shuriken shards, you know, like, and that, that sort of stuff. So we, we are looking at alternate things that you can use them for, um, that should be useful. Welcome, Lone Star McFluffin. Thank you for the resub. That is 34 months in a row. That is humongous. Thank you very much. Um, and welcome Big to the stream too. Thanks for being here. Um, also thank you, uh, but uh, Sengoku and hey, Darth microtransactions. Nice. How's it going? Uh, yeah, glad to have everyone here. Costa, Cinnabal, Benji, Icy, PDX, Anta, Mati. Thank you so much for Launch the primes, crazy. guys. Appreciate you. Um, more questions? So wonderful having them just ready to go. I love it. Um, what direction are the pinnacle bosses going to be taken in? Oh, I can't talk about this. I'm sorry. More of a Lost Ark S style or uh, or fight of fights or stuff more like Lilith from D4, more like PoE Uber bosses. I would love to be able to tell you more about this. Um, there's not a lot that I can really share yet. Um, this is this is sort of thing that we are. Um, I'm, I'm not going to talk to mechanics or anything like that, but it is it is a system. So it's it's um, we're not planning just a door in EOT that takes you to uh, to the final boss. Like, that that definitely works in a lot of situations. Um, we do want it to be more of a system. Um, what I mean by system is, like, I'll give an, I'll give an example of a, a, a lighter system, but a system. Um, Farming organs for Diablo, Diablo 2. 2. Yeah. Uh, where you, you end up uh, looking for keys from three mini-bosses in the game. You take those keys, you combine them, and you fight three incredibly powerful bosses. Um, well... One incredibly yeah. powerful boss, one very powerful boss, and one pushover. <laughs> yeah, the um, uh, what's the what's the and, uh, and Andarial the, one? The rewards from those three together to fight three incredibly powerful bosses. The Andarial one is and, crazy um, strong. Like, like that, that's that's a whole system. That's a whole system because there's like there's things you're doing to unlock the fight, the final pinnacle fight, um, and there's like there's 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 a storyline around it a little bit. You know, there's um, there's implied stuff, and and it's it's not just a straight here's the boss fight. Um, and then we, we do want it to be something that is not tedious. Um, it's Lilith. And that you're, is like, it actually fun, Lilith? the whole step, like the whole process is fun. I forgot. Um, and that final, uh, that final stage in that process, that pinnacle boss that you're fighting is something that is like, it's challenging. It's rewarding. It's, it's an accomplishment to complete it. 
Um, what build or class has the biggest and, and damage numbers? That, um, the benchmarking system. I heard that, the Wraith Lord can hit for like, 8 million, um, so I guess the Wraith can Lord this build do is what it, the highest boss. I've heard. Yes or no? You know, like that's that's a really important um, benchmarking system, I think, for a lot of players to have to feel um, to feel good about their build, to feel good about the decisions they're making, and, and proud of their accomplishments. So you know, this is this is um, this is all stuff we're working in, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know I'm just speaking super vague right now, uh, and I basically just said nothing. <laughs> so sorry, but um, you know, this, this is this is how we're how we're how we're coming at this problem. Uh, will you guys consider adding the option to add um, markers to the minimap for a loot filter? We Yeah, I would love to add markers for shards. Um, yeah, shards, that's a whole other kettle of fish there. Um, I think that there's, uh, there, there's there's a lot of quality of life stuff in the loot filter still that's possible. Um, that we, we really want to find good ways to do it. We, we didn't have a good way to do this yet. Um, there were some problems. And... Um, you know, it's 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 one of those things where like I think we'd love to have features like this and we're not quite sure exactly how to fix some of the problems that we have with them right now. So um I can't guarantee it, but it would be nice, wouldn't it? And that, that basically exactly what I just said goes for um sound effects, um uh, any any sort of like custom icons or it, like it, all those all those extra things with regards to loot filter display on screen is uh Hold on to that one answer. Uh, the bazaar seems to be seems to be unpopular as you have to run and talk to different vendors. Are you discussing this internally or no plans to change the bazaar? There are plans for UI UX quality of life updates to the bazaar coming. Um, some of some of most of the the bulk of those will happen in one point one. I expect because um, some of them are, are pretty big undertakings <laughs> to do. Um, but yeah, there's there's a clear um, we have heard the feedback on it, and I don't think it's quite as, um, like, I don't, I don't think it's a, 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 oh no, dire situation of, like, you like the uh, most recent you know, video, thank sound, you. Sound the alarm bells or anything like that yet, um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely room for improvement there, um, and we're working on it. Uh, is the loud clang that occurs when you hit, when you get hit? The sound of you being stunned, parried, blocked, or yes? Uh, I have no idea. Um, there's a different sound for each of those events, probably. Um, it's also dependent on uh, what type of damage is incoming. Uh, so there's there's probably some specific clang that you're hearing that might be a little overtuned. If you can um, if you can figure out the a specific situation that it happens in. Um, and put that in a bug report or feedback, it would be very, a lot easier to fix it. Yeah. I always submit my bugs to the bug report feature. I'm a good boy. On the topic of bug reports, just in general, a little, little aside, um, tons of fantastic bug reports coming in. Super helpful. Love it. Um, I do, I do sometimes see some that are just like, like three words and you're like, this is not enough to fix this problem. <laughs> Like, what? Is it like, I um, like cake? Sometimes in context, you can report? like, you can see like, oh, there's, there's other bug reports happening at the same time and you can figure out what it's for. But like, if you're, if you're taking the time to do a bug report, um, type more than you know, three I, words. And, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest a novel to anyone. Short and sweet is fantastic. Um, but like l a little bit more context in some situations can help. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> almost all of them are fantastic. It's just like there was one I looked at recently, um, and it was it was three words, and I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> Thought it was quite funny. It was only twelve letters as well. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, congrats for the great game already. 700 plus hours in it. Woo! Uh, is in 1.1 1 .1, uh, coming any end game additions to Monolith or just pinnacle bosses? Are you going to make any new pinnacle crafting like Aval in PoE? Um, I don't have specific details on that that I can share just yet. Um, the I, I'd say the, the, the primary focus is going to be on a pinnacle boss 
system. Um, and there could be other stuff too. We are, we are uh, like, we're leaving a big gap in, um, our, our 1.1 plans for, uh, feedback and, um, feedback projects. I have severe mana problems. Very severe mana problems. A boss you have to assemble, assemble like Exodia. That's what they said. They said that um, you have to. Uh, sure how to fix there it. is a system to at least summon it. Maybe not literally assemble it, but there will be a system to it. They said. <laughs> I'm like, yes, summon things every time you get hit. Let me just do this rapidly attacking thing on you. Okay, we got there. I'm gonna answer some questions. Sorry, I get distracted by the game sometimes. Ugh. Why? Well, what you gonna do, right? Um, is DLSS coming? And are you aware of the memory leak or whatever that is causing my game to drop FPS as time goes? Um, uh, DLSS is not possible in the current version of the engine we have. We are looking at upgrading that engine eventually. I don't have a timeline on it, but when we do, it will be something we consider to add in. Um, as it does have performance and um, uh, and fidelity improvements that go with it. Um, same with the AMD version. The, um, the other half of that. Oh, there's a memory of the question. I there was uh, there, there's been I've I've seen a couple reports. I don't know anything about it. Um, I don't know if it is a uh, fixable thing or not yet, or if, if someone's. I know. I know memory leaks are things that get attention quickly, so I would assume someone is looking at it if it's been reported properly and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I don't have any firsthand details on it. All right. Next question. What are the plans? Oh no! Don't die, Mike. my lightning res oh yeah uh that's that's uh problematic <laughs> how under level am I? i'm not that under level even uh what are the plans for new classes or just adding new skills to existing masteries or how or any new tips for surviving classes? on warlock i'll uh, help you just yes. give me one second do all of those things um you'll you'll see you'll you won't see any new base classes or masteries in 1.1, I can say that for certain. Um, we will be uh, starting out with just, you know, like, like adding in some new skills, updating some old skills, um, as, uh, like the first few patches, that sort of stuff. And um, we will start to look at new masteries after that for some existing classes, like fourth mastery for some, for some of the classes we have. Um, and then we'll probably start looking at um, some new classes too. And this is, I'm talking years in the future, so like this is all very, very speculative. Um. Um. Tips to make your warlock tankier. More stuff. More health. More cold res. <laughs> so bad. Uh. Sl if you said you got some bis items, do you have legendary potential? Yes. You slam yeah, that, exalts into um, them. I think one of the most health and cold res is how you stay alive. Are the new skill gems that that show up? Like 140 and, and cold res. Like you want 300 minimum. That's of, a huge problem. Um, their, their skills gem system and and the fact that you can have um i just have like two, a new skill gem or new skill in the i have 238 and that's way too low 300 minimum on, on other builds and all sorts of things so yeah we are because um, of your gloves very aware that that is a important part of one percent ward retention per one percent uncapped cold rest new patch experience and we are looking because of the gloves Cold res, cold res, cold res, cold res, cold, 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 cold. Uh, why are my Twitch drops not showing? Claims twice now and nothing. Everything is connected. You want three hundred oh, yeah, cold res? I do not. That's have why you're. That's why you're dying. That I can offer you. Um, I have no cold, idea. Cold, I'm cold, 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 cold. Um, if you contact support, they should be able to help. Um, yeah. Cold guys, cold. Uh, I would love it if we could search in the affix section of the item filter by tags. Uh, for example, only affixes that can appear on belts, as far as I can. Uh, as far as I can tell that. Um, if you put a belt into... Um, 
Like so here, here, let's let's do um uh move speed. Move speed, there we go. Prefix shows up no problem. If we put a belt a belt in here, um let me just bring this up. Move speed. It's gone! Having the item type here auto filters this list for things it can have. Yeah. Um so we, we do kind of have that in a weird way. There's also prefixes and suffix filters that you can do here as well. Um, yeah. But yes, there's, I think there's, I think having, there, there's, there's the volume of shards that are coming in here um, is enough that I could see some other options being added in there too. Oh my. Uh, do you have any plans to expand experimental affixes or maybe to some, uh, similar different themed fixes uh they are super interesting for crafting yeah I, I think there's there's room for experimental affixes to be experimented with more um i think you'll see um i, I don't need specifics here really i think there's going to be more um uh, experimental affixes are really thematically linked to exiled mages um, if, if you understand the, the, the lore on how that works and everything, it's, it's that these, these mages were experimenting with these athletes. 21 weavers will. Unnatural by some. Um, and they were basically, they were exiled for these practices. And, um, so like specifically experimental affixes, it, it, it's like, we might be able to tie them in, uh, some other way, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe there's other uh like a continuation of that story uh arc maybe and and there's there's new things that come into to interact with that specifically i don't cold, know cold guys um, cold cold it may also just be that there's like hey it's a, a new similar style system that has its own type of affix reward that could happen too um th these are all sorts of things that we're very interested in exploring can i buy a vowel a specific a c uh, details on what could be coming do you expect to add a tier above empowered monoliths um, probably not. Uh, when, uh, when are we getting the next three campaign chapters? I love playing through it. Um, the next three campaign chapters will be added, uh, n not likely like all in one big dump. It'll be like, here's one chapter, here's the next chapter, here's the next chapter, that sort of thing. I would expect, cause they're, they're pretty beefy in the, like, in what goes into them. Um, so I, I, would, ex I would expect them to be done individually. Why cold? Because of the gloves. It gives you ward lever. retention. Um, cold, cold, cold. Can I buy a vowel? A C. Just run around how the Falcon do it. Uh, thoughts on making it easier to swap from one faction to the other by having the reputation gain be in increased until you reach uh, the level of your previous faction uh, similar to skills. Uh, very unlikely. Someone asked a question. I read it like four times. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand it. Um, Weaver's will is play the play with the item. I think that's really unlikely. It will the, 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 switch, gain the switch is affixes. not there as a game mechanic. The switch is there it will as continue to a gain valve to make it so you don't brick a character. Um, it's, it's, hey, I made a horrible mistake. I really need to switch. Um, it's going to suck for a bit, but I'll get back to a point where this is fun and I don't have to reroll the whole character. Um, that's, that's more what they're targeted at. Rax, um, why the peak hell is good. What, what's the question? And I think especially because if peak, you're going peak of the mountain, is that what you mean? Skilled, you probably do have a, a decent gold stockpile to work with. Um, and then also if you're going from, uh, merchant skill to see, oh, that, hell, you've got helmet, more, a higher percentage of your items that can be used anyways. Um, Probably, I don't know. Uh, well, that was... well, this one has got the greatest slam in it of all time. Uh, the three to all attributes, I think, is very strong. Down. Yes, it's right here. Yeah, but it drops the duration, too. Um, That's what's wrong with this node. Oh, fire damage. I think it's just the all attributes. <laughs> Uh, what are your current thoughts on Minion Companion AI and are there any plans on making it better in the future? 
Um, I think they're generally pretty good. Yeah, but the crit, but dots can't crit in this, this game, can they? Can bleed crit? That you could be planning that don't. All I do is bleed damage. Um, we are working on improvements to, to minions in general. There's a there's a ton of new tech in the Falcon. There's a ton of new the tech crit, in the Falcon. Oh, for harvest, um, yeah, for harvest. And I, I think we'll start to see some of that propagated right. out as we go. Um, several experimental things there for sure. Yeah, for harvest. Um, As, there, there's sort of there's this concept of like minion stances that we've we've sort of been vaguely mentioning for like five years now, um, and it's it's gone on the list, it's come off the list, it's gone on the list, it's come off the list, you know. And um, I I'd really like to see it. I don't know how we're going to implement it. Still, there are there are definitely minion changes that we've got. We've been in like design meetings where someone's like, oh, we've got to get this working for minions. And someone's like, yeah, I know, it's be really great. And and or it's like, how do we do? We don't have time for that. We got to do something else first. And so a lot of that happens, I think. And um, so, yeah, there, there's there's room for improvement there. Uh, any plans to look at clicking on items with a mouse? Um, it feels like it's hard to actually... It feels like it's actually hard sometimes to click on an item. Don't think it's a me problem, but I've seen multiple reviewers mention it. It's, it's, yeah, it's one of those weird things that, like, um, I have seen this show up a few times, and, and every time I'm like... It happens all, and maybe it's just because I'm super used to it, but I, I never really seem to have this problem or never notice it or something. I don't know. Um, what what problem I, was I he talking about? Enough, and this sort of thing is just responding to feedback. Which um, which problem did you say? There's there's some tricky things. They, 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 it Hard has to click to on items. The actual size of the item. Like, we can't make the button bigger than the item itself. So, like, it has to, like, the instant that cursor moves outside of that box, it's got to not be clickable. But like anywhere inside that box, it has to be clickable. Um, it feels like I'm, I'm not sure if there's like I, I stickiness I, I, that can happen. I, I would or say like that, where like the mouse I would like phrase it a different way. I wouldn't say like it's hard to pick up items. I would say it feels like sometimes when you're going to pick uh, up an cool item, a it list eats your input. In you click the item, you go there, actually and you don't pick up the item. It's like it just ate your and, input. Um, so you can tell right here. So you can look at all your it's requests. It's like a dead have, input. That That's the way I would it. describe it. Um, but it's a, not like a universal list. It's not like items. And I don't in have a problem mm, picking up items normally, I but sometimes like I go click it three times and not, I still don't have the item in my inventory. The final boss of the campaign, unlocking all the waypoints. I thought that was really smart. Subtle. Um, but I really like that idea. You want to know what I just realized? I didn't know uh, if I wanted the longer names on the items. Patch. Yes, so many skills in the game are bugged in one way or another. Sometimes breaking the game. I never read yeah, the item. Like, if it makes it through my loot filter, so many interactions. I just pick it up. So that it's it. it like, I think I'm gonna change it. How to much? The short how, many, game. how many universes do you have time for heat death for to actually test every combination type thing? Um, and. Some of them do get missed, unfortunately. And sometimes a fix for one thing will cause another thing to break. Um, even if you don't think it ever could. Um, so we are we, we work really hard to do, to get uh, like as few bugs and skills as possible. Like, the, the month leading up to launch, that's all I was doing was bug fixing skills. Um, which you know, sounds ridiculous. You're like, how, how is that possible? There's so many still. Oh, well, yeah. Um... We're still working on fixing more bugs, and we will see more bugs come. More bug fixes come in. Um, I, the patch that just happened had a bunch of bug fixes in it. The next patch will have a bunch of bug fixes in it. So, yep, still working on those. Uh, what are your plans on nerfing OP abilities? For example, Warlock's broken ward generation to sixty to eighty k. Everyone's having fun with it right what? now. What? Will you leave it for this season or take it away? Um, I don't know. I think the um, I think that the, if 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 we try not to do big balance changes um, mid cycle if we can avoid it, and um, something would have to be like really warping everything in the game. I think at this point for us to make a huge swing at something. Um, how do you how do you make the item short <laughs> like, here?
All right, I'm still here. I'm good. Uh, nothing happened. Don't know what you're talking about. If, slip stick. If I was gonna slip guess. Stick, I mean, if someone I said, "Mike, do whatever you want to change video this, have at it today." You know, you have to consult on loot filters. Did you watch I, it? Which doesn't ever happen. I made a video today would, um, showing you how to make your own loot filter in two se the, not in two seconds, the, but showing the, you how to build it. Retention rate, Did anyone watch that video? Um, I didn't give you a loot filter. A I showed board, you how to make one, um, which is even better, right? Give a man a a fishing pole, not a fish. So you'd see like. Uh, people, it's people, yeah, it's like, really you, not hard if you watch that video. It's like not too terribly long, learn, but it doesn't last as it long. It will show you how to uh, set one up so pretty easily and how and why. And, real world and then it, it you can make it for your it would own be character. I, would start looking. I, think that, I think that's where I would start looking at. I could just give you my just loot filter, that, like, but then that wouldn't nature. enable you to make loot filters for yourself you forever, these right? Cool combinations, and you don't want to, you don't want to take away the combinations because finding those cool combinations and, and making them work is the fun. Um, but maybe there's ways to make them, you know, a little less impactful. Oh, uh, I just got a message that I haven't turned yeah, off my welcome. Slack notifications. <laughs> Um, we may have an update on the memory leak thing very soon. We may not. <laughs> did any of you guys after the video make a loot filter for your own character and did it, did it make the game more enjoyable for you? I don't know what you're talking about. Customized for what you wanted. <laughs> did anyone go make one or like kind of follow oh, along? I'm the worst. I'm going to turn the notifications off in a second. You copy and paste max roll? Watch my video. You could take the max roll yes, filter Jen, and edit it. Stop it! <laughs> I got you. That was Judd, by the way. <laughs> uh, back to questions. Will the controller UX be improved to not require the cursor? Uh, enable customizability currently not working. Um, and will there be an in interact skill on a button like D4 PoE? The game is amazing. Thank you. Um, I, I know we're looking at quality of life updates and changes for the controller. I don't know specifically which ones are going to be coming. Um, I know people, I know there's a big, the one I've seen the most requests for is, is more remapping freedom. Um, there's certain functions that we've like hard mapped to specific keys and we're like, we, we can't change this right now. It's just uh, too bad. Sorry. Um, so that's why there's certain keys you can't touch. Um, I know we're trying, I know we were, we are working on making them more generic and uh, work with the remapping system, but that's why there are some that are just like, mm, no. Uh, will there be a key line for stopping on the spot? Would be nice QL. Um, oh, we had that. We don't have that. I don't know how the it trademark. I don't know enough about the build yet to know about those intricacies. Maybe some warlock knows exactly how that works, but I I don't know at the moment. I'm honestly it's like I, ward potion I'm still like in the stage of the warlock where I'm still scared of dying. I don't have enough cold res or health, and then I was gonna worry about stuff like that, like the damage. We're gonna take it off. Hey, let the server key. Nice. If you can build a car from top to bottom, you can absolutely make a last epoch loot filter. It really yeah, isn't hard. It's not hard. I, I explained to you kind of you why. Gonna, like, gonna, here, gonna, do this, and here's why. I do this, and here's why. We're actually Tailor it this. to your we're build. Here's how you do it. Here's an example. Minion damage. I'm pretty sure you can do it. Real pretty. It's 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 supposed to be easy, and uh, I still would say it is pretty easy. Anybody. Uh, Anybody can make a loot filter free, for themselves. Mm -hmm. Throwing damage. Mm. Grumble, 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 grumble. <laughs> Thank you very much. We got more subs coming in. Oh, let's 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 read off some subs. Oh, there's tons of people. Thanks, guys. Um, 
Game Hauntings. Uh, resilient. Uh, resilient. Red Devil. Yeah, there we go. It's so hard without the capitalizations. <laughs> uh, Karandi. Sweet. I think that's right. Uh, Winterich. Twitch. Pody. Tech Mojo. Your Beak 13. Mr. Meatball. Mr. <laughs> like Meatball. Thank you very much for the subs, guys. Appreciate it. Glad you're having fun hanging out. More questions. Any news on adding in-game leveling? Builder, Mr. Meatball. Uh, so you can allocate points automatically while leveling. This is a really interesting one. Um, I, I'd love to have something like this, like a like a, a build planner in game where you can be like, okay, I'll like put like little like. I would go prophecy as like, DJ always. Yep. Buy all the you, glove you, prophecies. That's what I would do. Stuff. The really, really, really obvious like extension of that idea is, um, and it's it's the same thing we do in the loot filter when you, when you're like um, when you're making a new loot filter and there's this like paste from clipboard. You know, like import a filter. Okay, import a build. Now you've got this entire build template that you're you and if it's and if it's as you say in the question, if it's like auto allocating as you're leveling up, you're just like never coming into your skill tree. You're never coming into your passive tree. You're never making any of these decisions yourself. So you're never learning any of this information, any of these things. You're never like exploring the nodes. You're never taking the time. Ooh, see, this is the problem. You wouldn't have. I've, I'm my mana's all busted. I forgot about this mana node. Um, <laughs> but I think we just gotta like we've been throwing so much. We just gotta keep going. We gotta get five points. Anyways, um, my point is is that you 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 end up in a situation where so many people have like zero knowledge of of how these things interact and work. And um, one of the things we we do really try to foster is this idea of people being able to um, like like learn learn the game and um. And, and really encouraging that that learning process, um, and without having a did I put the belt back on? I did. Without having um, just just that physical act of putting those points in, um, it, it it really takes away from that learning a lot. And I'm not sure the best way to do it because I I do really much agree that having something like this is a really positive thing because um, I I know from experience just as well as just about anyone here that you'll be in. Oh, I need that cleanse belt node. Ugh that hurt a lot um one thing that you you do is you you start you play a character for a while you you put it down you come back i don't know a week later a month later and you're like what was i building on this again i was i was gonna put points somewhere wasn't i where was it like and then you mess up and yada yada and it's, it's, yeah it's a whole thing so there, there's definitely really positive things about a system like that that we would love to have um and we're not sure if it will be a positive thing overall or how it will work, all sorts of things. So, like, maybe? <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool idea. Uh, any plans for damage breakdown functions for dummies? No. Uh, how about adding icons representing the buff above the shrines? Oh, that's a cool idea. So you can, like, see what the shrine is before, like, like um, picturing D2 shrines where you know what it is before you get there. I really like that idea. Um I I'm actually surprised that isn't already in the video, game. Too. We could, we could uh, yeah, we could. Uh, yes, we could do it on the mini map. <laughs> um, I, I I don't know if we'll do it or not, but yeah, it's possible. Um, I, I really like the idea. I think it's cool. I think you should make sure it's in the suggestion threads because I write nothing down from the stream because I'm terrible. Um. Uh, thanks for staying on top of the issues and solving problems on the fly. You're welcome from the people who are actually doing that because <laughs> they're much better at that than I am. Um, well, I was working on one yesterday, but yeah. Uh, one question. Can we respect mastery points without having to go to the brain NPC, please? Um, extremely unlikely. Um, I, I, th I think that having that. Uh, I call that them the brain NPC too. Is, is really, really good. In, in sort of overall there's a few few reasons there but like um ha like one of the things we do really like to push in that class identity i was talking about earlier is is that connection to your character that connection to the that that that, that, that character you're building this um more than just a collection of stats and nodes you've taken wow, but three uniques a, in like a row it has that personality that you inject into it and um having that mastery respect be so much easier those, those is points, there the exalted attack speed so on staff is i would I think, assume there um, is Something that can detract from that a little bit. 
I don't know why there wouldn't be. Easier is the wrong word. Um, readily available on hand. Uh, quick question: The OST on Steam when will be available? I I don't know. I wish I I feel like it should be available like right now, shouldn't it? Um, I don't know. Sorry, I'd love it. Uh, there was there was a um, there was a concert that happened at UCLA recently, um, where they played Doom Wicked a Costa. Songs Thank from, you so much for the subs, guys. Awesome. Our our composer was there. Um, and directed those it was or conducted those sorry um it was it was fantastic to watch it was super 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 cool um they had like a choir doing the singing parts and it was awesome anyways yeah um oh the ost does not get enough love would be my oh my goodness me i'm just super dead there's no way i survive this zero chance Yep, zero chance. I cannot survive the bug the dots that are on me right now. Just use everything. That bug. Oh, that bug is really good. Let me work on that. Just, just exploit it a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I'm terrible. <laughs> I should I should really be looking at um some gear, because my gear is abysmal. Health on kill. God, I can relate to that. Is. This is doing. Oh, that crit chance is nice. That base crit chance, that's why I was wearing it. Because that gets passed down. Just do a little forge. Dude, I, this is my favorite echo I've ever done. It's just a giant Jesus. open map I don't have chaos. with 10 million Jesus. monsters in it. Need 30 to forge. Awesome. Well, let's just do a lightning res. Am I bouncing? Yeah, there's an earthquake going on. Get throwing anything. Throwing. Throwing damage. All right. Look, 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 look. For there's, example, there's a little bit, so I'm not quite as good. For garbage. example, do you see how many times I click that thing? Um, more questions. Sorry. And I know I'm not. I know, I know I'm woefully behind here. I apologize. I'm doing my best. Um, do we have plans to change minion UI? Like options to bring it closer to skill bar for more options. Um, we don't have any plans for like UI customization right now. You're 98. Um, you're 98, and you have a yellow ring and, and gloves. There's a lot of people that would love to see, like... There's a, no way that that should still be happening you know, like, in profile. Uh, like, uh, you should have, have found, like... Wow has great UI customers. A hundred exalted um, rings and gloves that were way better. And, and it's Something like, must be wrong with your loot filter. You want, basically. Um, Shouldn't be 98 with yellow there, gear. Like free reign. Anyways, there's... So, um, something has gone wrong there. I, I think that... Uh, a little longer term, there's room for features like that. Um, but we're not, we're not there yet until looking at, at that as a possibility. Sorry. Uh, is unique stash tab something you guys list? Uh, not specifically, but there are stash tab improvements in general that are on the list. Uh, Hey, what's your opinion about character progression in the current state of the game? A lot of reviews say that we need more steps to improve our characters. Yeah, I think that there are. It's a really delicate balancing act, okay? So, um, you see, you see things where it's like, okay, we want, want more, um, more, more ways to improve our character, more like activities, more actions, more steps to improve the character, things like that. Um, and then, then you start seeing, it's like, okay, well, then there's like, at what point is there too much, right? Um, and I think we are. We're, we're we're in we're in the stage of there's not enough. We're clearly in the there's not enough camp, and we are uh, working on improving it so there are more. Um, but I don't know what that's going to look like exactly yet. Sorry. Uh, hello. Wondered if we could disable smooth camera movement, especially when you suddenly change directions in a future update. Um. It doesn't like that. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the, how it's set up now, and I'm, I don't think it's set to that heavily. 
smooth things out very much. But there is some there, especially. Oh, you know when it does smooth uh, transplant and teleport when you're like doing big jumps really quickly, um, where your position's just moving teleport <gasps> abilities. Um, those do have uh, a lot of smoothing on them. Um, I mean, I, yeah, I could see that. I know that they were before we put that on. It was really jarring. Like it was, it was not good. Um, I could I could see that being a possible option in the future. I know there's no plans for it. Oh my god, my preview's just going crazy. How do I get all the gear already? Lucky drops or trade faction? The CUF rank one passive well, I, effect. I am drops. rank nine in the trade faction. Yes. I did a lot of prophecies, but I mean, I'm also almost level ninety four, man. Uh, this you should. Uh, my gear is not totally good, by the way. Off the top of my head, my gear is not good. My gear is just functional, you know. Uh, no. It I don't have I don't have good gear. I just have gear. You're talking about like the boss specific drops. There's no you're not you're not ever gonna get two boss specific drops from that. Uh, thoughts on set items power level. Generally, they're too low. Uh, that was me. Most of them are are weak currently. Yes. Uh, could they be getting legendary potential soon? No. Um, we do have plans for set items to take their rightful place in the end game pantheon of item types. Um, legendary potential is not how we're planning on doing that. Um, but there is a mechanic that is along the same, like, design pattern idea. I think the most vague way to say connected, because it's not the same thing at all. Um, but, but like, we, we know set items are not, um, an overly sought out item type right now. Like, to, to the point where we, we made a full set of items that all, the, there's four items that come from this boss and say of the mountain and they're not a set like that's the point we know that they're not as awesome as they should be so when we're like making a set and not even calling it a set you know so um there, there, there are there are some, I mean, some significant plans there i think it's way worse than just underpowered i would say uh, the current implementation of Merchant i don't mean to be like funky. super it's dramatic but i would say sets are mucho el poopy dick and uh Relisting is punishing with zero favor refunds. Uh, yep, that's not going to change. Uh, any view on these? If the already is the team aware of the challenges with trading? Yes, there there are. So some of those things I have them are filtered completely of out of my loot changing. filter. It just um, hides set items straight the, up. They're just hidden. I don't even uh, see them anymore. Yeah, I I don't want to go into too many specifics on there. There are definite um, quality of life UI UX. Uh, improvements to Merchant Skill that we are working on. Didn't uh, the they ask that question thing 15 was, times I, I already? I'm pretty sure I, I'm it wasn't not, on the list. I mean, maybe not 15. Funding favor on How many times it, has it been asked? Eight times? I know someone pitched. This was a community member, and I like the idea. I can't remember where the idea came from. Someone, someone at some point over the last few weeks mentioned the idea of It's been more than three. A, like a, a re a reprice option where you could like change the price on the fly for a small favor cost. Um, I thought that was a good idea. You do get the reputation when you list the item, not when the item sells. So don't list stuff for zero gold. PSA. Uh, when it comes to balance changes, how will you approach it? I'm hoping there won't be uh, just be nerfs. I'm hoping there won't just be a nerf fiesta. Mm, fiesta. Sounds like a, I don't know, like like a, a party that's just like decorated with like nerf guns everywhere. Um, any, anyways, um, yeah the the goal with balancing is never to have everything be exactly perfectly balanced. You know, we, we don't want thing, we don't want you to be able to like look at everything and just be like well it doesn't matter what you pick because it's all exactly as powerful as the thing beside it that's bad that is just as bad as well there's only one no it's not just as bad it is comparably as bad um as there are three builds to play in this game and you if you play anything else you're just never getting to end game i think those those are like those are two ex far extremes of the same problem um and you know so the goal is somewhere in the middle and, you know, how we get there to that goal uh, is going to be a combination of nerfs and buffs. Um, I think the 
I think if you see a list of nerfs and buffs that are an equal number of nerfs and buffs on that list, it is going to look like mostly nerfs. I think that's how it's going to feel for a lot of people, um, which is which is unfortunate. Um, people and, are twice don't as angry to lose a dollar than like they, they are like happy to say, hey, gain a dollar. Four nerfs, you got to have four buffs or something like that. We don't do that. We do try to. Um, uh, we, we do try to look for opportunities for buffs and nerfs at the same time. So we're not trying to um, have a nerf fiesta. That's that's not the goal. Um, but can we have I'm a sure fiesta? There are situations where we will have patches where it's pure nerf. Can we have a regular buff. fiesta? Uh, I'm thinking like tiny little patches, not full patches. We'll, not, we'll never have a God, I hope we can have a fiesta. Uh, patch. Like what Listening point, to what Mike from 11th Hour Gaming discuss... Nerf. No, that's insane. <laughs> discussed last yeah. epoch watch my latest video adjusted your loot filter now it's better excellent uh settle a bit for me gladly it may not be accurate <laughs> is weaver's will a wheel of time reference uh the the wheel wills as the weaver wills you guys are great thanks uh yeah, it, it, as far as i know it is not a wheel of time reference um I actually just got introduced to Wheel of Time um, with, with the TV show, which I know is controversially good or bad, um, depending on who you ask. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to the next season. I hope they do the next season. I'm easy to play. Never even heard like of that, it. Though. Never even heard of it. Here, there's the five. Yeah. Uh, are there plans to allow you to respec all your passive skills at once? Yes. Uh, any chance of a transmog system being put in the game? Uh, more than just the cosmetics you can buy, like using item skins from the game with gold. Um, there is a... The transmog system would be way system. more important than um, the gender system because the, the transmog system, you can actually the see the changes. With the gender system, with the gear that you have on, that you can't, you can't even tell time. anything. Um, just a... Overview what you have no are. idea if I'm playing a female or a male um, character right now. If I don't zoom in, you have no chance of telling. Um, we, we, we are looking at a transmog system. We don't have any concrete uh, plans for timing or exactly how it's going to look yet. So, um, so put yes, in the transmog uh, that, system that before the, the gender list. system. That, um, I don't, I don't, so like, that's what. There's so many examples. Of People how were asking for um, put genders in for the things, the and then the devs were like, um, eh, "Half the team feels like it's not that important." I couldn't possibly think, fucking agree more. You can't even if, see what gender you are. You have gear on. If we were going to apply the change to the item itself directly, so like this item now looks like a different. Might dagger. make sense if you could um, actually see what it would gender have you are. To, um. a lot more changes that need to happen to make that happen than to uh, put it into the appearance system so that it goes here instead. That would be a lot more easy. That would be a lot faster for us to slot in with the way everything's set up. Um, I have no idea if that will affect things or not. Um, having them... It's one thing you may have noticed in the, in the appearance ones that are here. Oh, I don't have a new list account. Oh, whatever. Um, they only work for... You're normally a, a very laid-back dude. Why are you quit. so angry? Like, like you can't I don't know, man. It's because people just bring up such stupid things. On a dagger item. It gets annoying after a while. And I think that restriction would probably carry forward. And, and, people and, are saying that, that the gender of their character matters. You can't even see the gender of your character. You have gear on. I don't understand how There's this is some, important like, to people, and they just keep bringing it up. Having having a dagger look like a longsword can make some of the animations that happen with daggers look funny with a longsword. When people ask for a uh, transmog system, builds at least you can see that. Uh, do you think that with the recent builds, being so that strong, actually makes some sense some to put some development time into it. Will be reverted, if they build the a gender system, then that's something. So that's another um, item that they didn't I don't think we'll be build looking for specifically us. at reverting things, but just making new changes based on the what's there. Like any plans to change the requirements? This is why I get frustrated. 
We dragged you. Oh over my god! How is that important to people? It doesn't make any fucking um, Mike, sense. Mike, did you get to shave your beard? That 1.0 has released. Um, I, I actually, I'm. You I'm can't even gonna see be tidying it. it up. I've been putting off. I need to get a haircut. Like, just, just, it's just all hair. Um, and, How do you go from? Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably trim normal monoliths to empower. You need capped resistances and very high health. Uh, I have no idea if my wife would love me with a, with no beard. She's, she's never, she, I don't think she's ever seen you without a beard. They might be saying it to trigger you. No, they're saying it in the you death stream. I mean. They're not even saying it in my stream. Bits. That's a new sound. I never see bits. Thanks to the bits. Bits are cool. Thanks to the bits. I will look at that in a second so I don't die. <sighs> Get him. <laughs> Thank you very much for the bits. Uh... Bazzy Badian? Baz Badian? Bazzy Badian? I don't know how to say your name, but thank you very much. Um, I changed your life. That's awesome. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Bill Bill Nyquil. XM <laughs> Mario. We're listening to Mike from EHG well. talk guys. about last e epoch. That have like told me they're having fun playing the game since launch, and and just like friends that I've talked to that are like, um, I've had several friends come up to me. Uh, the Twitch and handle is Last Epoch Game. Like, I'll they, put they it in the chat like right friends now. Friends that just like don't know I'm working on this, um, and have like, and known that those that my friends that are the, like the, the middle friend <laughs> um, play this type of game have come to them and be like, oh, you gotta try Last Epoch, and they're like, dude, I know. Let me tell you about this. <laughs> I've had a few friends come and tell me that, which is funny. Dragon time. Please, for the love of God, give me the blessing, and please, for the love of God. Uh, all right. Hi, I got a question. Give me 67%. There is prophecy. We need the blessing, and we need 67%, boys. item drop? Can it do more than than one LP? So it does it give chance for more two LP than normal quest without LP? Yes. Uh, it, it It's like... um, I'm pretty sure... I have to double check to make sure. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that the situation you're talking about is it basically so uh, it basically just guarantees one and then it does everything else like normal. So it's just like it's just like the the one LP pat check pass and then it keeps going. It just it just like auto succeeds the the check to get one LP and then it just keeps going through the rest of the process to get two. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay, chances of me dying here are high. Very high. Impaling huge shadow idol, idol of shadows. Nailed it. Run away! Okay, we got it. We need the number to be 67 uh, or higher. Mine is currently 53. Last time we did this, we got 53 again. I'd really, so here's, here's what I'd really like to see is... Um, we, we don't have any plans for this right now, sorry. Uh, okay, this is just me, it's this is just me being better. Like, ah, I want this. Um, it's better. I want 7 to have perfect like, magic, magic, magic okay. wand. Okay. Um, gets, to, gets to make a system I can where still you have, be crit. It's um, a low chance. A... Slide. This is like the dream. Dream. Up to ninety-three percent, like I believe. And it's like it's a transparency slider for your party members. Ninety-three percent. Like, oh my god, that'd be so great. I do not think we have the capability to do this at all. Um, but I'd love to be able to like be like, okay, I'm playing with uh, um, a build that like goes real hard on the VFX and it's just everywhere and I can't see anything. I'll just drop that down to twenty-five percent. You know, that would be amazing. I, we don't have to, we can't do this it isn't now, even sorry. a greater blessing let's go over here and upgrade whatever blessing this could be just to do something else we do spend quite a bit of time when we are designing skill vfx to try to make it um at least a at least we got something uh, visual impact at least we got seven percent um there's sort of this this fine line to walk because you don't have something like this where who's you the guy to, like, who's yapping in cool the background and that's mike from own, 11th hour game and, he made um, last epochs He's talking like about its future and not overbearing enough that Do you, you guys not want to listen anymore fun for everyone in the party. And so this, that's a really 
difficult position the to guy who for made our last EFX designers. And uh, I know they would love to not have to worry about that as much. Ding, there it is. Um, yeah. Uh, plans on letting us see our applied cosmetics in character select screen would be awesome. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know if we actually have plans for this or not. Um, I know it was working at one point because, like, I remember going and like going to the character select screen and my cosmetics were on my character in like um, uh, testing builds. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it's not there right now. Um, but I hope it comes back one day. Uh, will there be a setting for locking items we equip? So you don't Mike is better than Rob. Who is Rob? This one gets, this one gets requested Rob a, a developer? Or um, this isn't is something Rob? that I've, uh, I, I, I've seen specifically in a design meeting yet. Um, but I can see it coming up as something we'll be discussing. Because it is something that gets requested. You mean Rod? Um, I'm not sure the Rod? best way we would do that. Like like a little, like you mouse over it and there's like a little like icon that, that, that shows up when you mouse over the item and then you mouse over the icon of the yeah, little I, I don't think Rod is a developer. Um, you mean just like as a voice you know, for like the game is what you mean? Or, as a voice? Um, probably what you mean? Junk's the wrong word in some of them. Uh, wears. Um, yeah, like, like various various ways to like mark items. No, as, like, Bob is the one who lost his epoch. This. And you just have like, you come to vendors and you just like sell all my wares and it just like dumps all of them, which is great. Um, we we don't we have a much lower emphasis on like selling items in general. Uh, the, the hard part for it is the I think, I think the, the point that it's like would be really advantageous for it. What am I doing? Is when you are shattering, and so you don't accidentally shatter your main weapon. I think that's the most problematic use case right now. I really want to get my Falcon and myself applying Fire Shred. I think that could be really advantageous. Fire Shred. Uh, more questions. Any chance we will get a system to add LP? No. Uh, I'll read it all. Any chance we'll get a system to add LP to uniques based on some factor, i.e. chance to receive LP rune? We're destroying a unique with low with LP low chance, of course. We have th this 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 adds an additive uh, LP chance source to a multiplicative balance system, um, and we have no plans of doing this at the moment. Uh, we we get that we get that suggestion and request all the time. That is like. That is unbelievable. This, and, and so this is one of those things, like, we do we do try and, whenever we get, like, heavy suggestions and things like this, we do, we do consider them quite heavily. And we've we've debated this one in design meetings I don't know how many times. It just keeps coming up, and we're like, now when, someone, now when it comes back up, we're like, okay, it's, like, it's that time again. Let's talk about it again. Is there any new information? Is anything changed? Can we consider this again? And usually it's just, like, we go, we go through the list of reasons why we can't do it, and we're like, yeah, we still can't do it. All right. Never mind. Wait, what was the question? That's, that's Something about. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, I got. It's just um, got a two LP. Design insight. Ag -zang -a -zang -a -zang -a -zang -a. I really like the idea of lightning meteors, but it just sounds Ray objectively Jeebus. weaker than running a legendary staff or legendary one plus legendary catalyst. Yeah, it's um. There's a few reasons. Um, the. You got another oh, body armor. Okay. Unique items have way less. This is this is one of the reasons. The unique items have so much less on the tooltip. Do you see how this tooltip goes from, like it's it's about what is that a third of the screen or tooth uh, less than half, maybe it's about half. It's almost half. This is a pretty small unique item. Um, set items are gigantic already. There's so much on them. There's so many stats. There's there's just there's just so much to them that uh, we actually had to build a system in the UI to make tooltips shrink themselves vertically so so set items could fit on screen without LP. Um, I I don't think there's a good chance of LP getting added um, to set items um, 
for for like just the logistics of it reason um but then on top of that it's it's also kind of just um making them even more similar to unique items and we really want set items to this is the design side of things now um we really want set items to feel like their own uh type of tool in your um character building tool belt um so it's not just like it's a it's a slightly different unique item it's a unique item that gets a bonus when you equip with other unique items of the same type no, we want it to be, like, it's a set item. It's something that is uh, mechanically distinct and interesting to build with. It's it's the way you consider how you're going to incorporate them into your build is unique. Um, you know, th things like this. And so um, I, I think it'll be, I think you'll like the system we do come up with better. And all I think I think. Or have come up with and do implement in the end. I don't understand. I uh, what about a system I can't that would buy, oh. show who did the most damage or healed the most or blocked the most I general can't stats add for another tab? party players? Sorry, no, not going to happen. What? We are um, not interested in this uh, in, bugged? In DPS charts or charts in general like that. Um, oh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's possible things could change in the future, but I do know that right now it is. That's That's a pretty firm no right now. Uh, where can I see a list of known bugs? We do not have a publicly available list of known bugs. I don't want to report things that have already been reported if possible. Multiple reports for us are actually really useful because it helps us gauge the relative um, percentage of the player base that it's affecting. Um, sometimes there's bugs that we can, um, we can look at the bug and we can say, okay, this is, we know the situation this occurs in. We can tell roughly what percentage of people this is going to be affecting. We can tell how it's affecting them. We can tell how severe it is, all these sorts of things. There's some bugs that you just can't really tell that from from a report from the style of what it is and that sort of thing. So um, these these duplicate bug reports from different people um, don't just spam the bug report system. Uh, it does auto combine them into one if it thinks it's from the same person and thinks it's the same thing, um, and will just delete the the, the follow up ones automatically. So don't don't spam it for one thing. Um, uh, but yes, if if there are like man, I'm. I'm lagging Duplicate reports bad are here. very useful for us. Is everybody um, lagging? So if it's if it's something that you're experiencing and you'd like to see fixed, please make the bug report. Um, it's like it's we've we've done a lot to, and this this is getting updates and improvements too as well. Um, because we're getting tons of feedback on our reporting tool. But this is this is a huge game changer for us. Is this this reporting tool? Oh my god! And even if it's even if it is something that like you think, oh, it doesn't really matter. Like, getting the extra reports, having this, this can send in extra screenshots, extra, extra logs. Dude, we can go slam this again. Extra evidence in order to track down what it is. I think we need oh, to go oh slam God, this it's again. So nice. Having three sets of logs instead of one is a godsend in some situations. So, um, yeah, if there's something that's bothering you, please report it. Um, if you want to see frequently reported bugs or things, if you want to take a look at that, you can just check the, um, the bug reports forums. And the Discord channel, there's lots of um, there's those are both searchable, so you can look through and see what other other people have reported there as well. Um, but the in-game one is just so much more powerful for us. Yeah. Any chance they'll add icons for stacking abilities like arcane absorption, just uh, for the sake of having the visual timer available? Uh, I work without it, but it's such a pet peeve for me. Low. Um, so there generally, uh, we try to, I don't, I don't know about that specific one off the top of my head. Sorry. Um, we try very hard not to put buffs down here if we can avoid it, which might seem kind of weird. Um, a lot of that has to do Maybe. with the, uh, just, just visual clutter and, and all sort of stuff that, that comes on the screen. Rune Master, I think is really bad for this because you get so many buffs showing up on the screen. Um, we tend to display visual information for, um, buffs that are, or, or, or triggered abilities and buffs and things like that, that are, excuse me, uh, that, that are inconsistent. So it's, if it's like a chance to have something happen, we usually put it up. If it's like every single time you do a throwing attack, you get this buff. We're probably not going to put it there. Cause you just like, I got it. I know it's there. Um, I, th I do think there's some value in having it be optional for players. I don't think it would be very fun to have, 
a big menu where it's like pick every buff you want to see and every buff you don't want to see. I think that would be okay. a very high development investment. These are my time, five choices uh, and a low player satisfaction difference. Um, if we were going to try and customize it somehow, I would expect that effort to be focused on a like verbose and limited mode, um, and just us deciding which ones go in verbose and limited, and you, it's a tick box in your settings, and you can you can have everything if you want type thing. Um, there's no plans to do that right now. Certain situations, adding in those buffs is um, kind of tricky. <laughs> we we buff we we apply buffs and effects in, in different ways depending on the situations. Um, and sometimes they don't play very nice <laughs> with, so there's the, I know there's a few times where I've been like, getting this buff to show up is, is just not going to be pretty and it's going to be buggy and you're going to be like, I've got it when you don't. And yeah, so we've, we've, we've foregone a couple of them I know in situations like that, but usually we, we, we get those. Let me see what it says is best. All right. Is it- uh, the cool res, screen or... effect that occurs when using a portal between monoliths isn't experienced in offline mode. Interesting. Um, because the game doesn't have the waiting... It's armor. Waiting area preloaded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have to go through an yeah, actual scene be... load. Yes. Um, can this be changed so us offline players can see this cool screen effect? Um, I, I don't know. I'd really like to. Um... I don't. I don't have any details on that. So, it's based. It's based on the whole architecture of like how scenes are loaded. Um, I think we probably could make some adjustments. I to have percent that. HP already, so I could go flat HP or cold res or armor. The, gu- the guide says armor, but I'm not sure that that's any plans on bringing accessibility really features to the game. Oh, oh yes. We I'm are gonna be. I'm gonna be very crit. aware. I cannot be um, crit, so we are pretty lacking with a lot of accessibility features. Um, yeah, I'm thinking you know, about like going we, cold. We, we do our best to incorporate some of these things natively, just so it's if they're not needed as much. Armor minus damage on crit, but I can't be crit because the accessibility options front. I have this, um, and I'm gonna max the blessing. So I'm guessing it's cold. And to all right? people that are not able to play because of that, I'm sorry. Um, we are. We, there are several different types of accessibility issues that we are working on. Um, I don't have any details on the timelines. You want to transition out of the blessing? Oh, your passion is plainly obvious. Thank you. Um, can you speak to your gaming history in some fave games real quick? Oh, um, yes. I started playing video games. I don't know when, how old I was. Uh, our, our first thing, we had a Commodore 64 uh, when I was very young. And... Um, you know, you, you play like the original original Donkey Kong on that. Um, uh, there was a racing okay, I'm game. Just gonna, I'm just gonna listen had. to Lizard. He's better uh, than me. I'm just gonna do what he says. Breakout, I think. Um, I'm just gonna do what he says. Like, like you're trying, you're, you're trying to, you're trying to dig down. Maybe we dig dug. You're like, it's like, eh. anyways. Um, that's where we started. Uh, Super Nintendo was my first real console. Best friend had an, had an NES that I lived in his house for a little while, basically, because I wanted to play it all the time. Um, you know, like Mario, Duck Hunt, Zelda One, all these sorts of things, the classics, the, the big the big ones. Um, yeah, I used to play Pokemon a ton as a kid. Uh, yeah, it's of Times, pretty damn good. Final Fantasy Seven, Nine. Um, what else? Uh, Civ Civ Two. I started playing Civ Two okay. when Age of Empires One and Two. This is um, pretty good. Diablo 2 was a huge game. I was, like, not allowed to play Diablo as a kid. Um, Be right back and I would, one like, second. We're going to go slam st- this. It's going to be I real stealth good. installed it on my mom's computer. So, someone at the computer store told her that... I'll cut this short because I know no one really cares about this. Um, someone at the computer store that she bought a computer from told her that it wasn't a gaming PC. Which it wasn't. It didn't have a video card all sorts of stuff. But she took that to mean, if you play games on it, you're going to break it. And so she's like, you're not allowed to play games on this computer. And I'm like, that's wrong. And so I would, like, I learned how to, like, work on computers in order to stealthily play computer games, um, which transitioned into a 10-year job in um, computer tech uh, and playing way too much Diablo 2 the entire time. Uh, <laughs> and now I play all sorts of games. Um, ah, check your DMs. For good announcements. 
Better not be a trick this time. <laughs> Here we go. We will bring cosmetics to character select. That is happening. Got a confirmation there. Um... <laughs> oh, the last one was so mean. I don't think it's wise to fire someone on stream when they're representing. <laughs> I know it's a joke. Um, where we, are. we have some internal fixes for movement skills getting. <laughs> uh, we have some internal fixes for movement skills getting characters stuck in some situations. Uh, we'll get that out in the upcoming hotfix. Great. Um, and there's a, we've got a memory leak hotfix. Memory leak hotfix is live. That's why I didn't know about it. Someone was already working on it. Um, so yeah, there, there was a memory leak. There's a fix for it made. It is pushed out. If you restart your game, you'll get 1.0.1.2, and that will have it in there. Um, little, little note here. Uh, we wanted to get this out for people before the weekend. These memory leaks were impacting Monolith and Arena mainly, uh, and then certain skills that players were using. We appreciate you guys with accessibility needs reaching out to us with things that you would like to see. Those are two separate sentiments that I just rolled into one. <laughs> that was from Judd. Um, thanks, Judd. Appreciate that update. Um, and I'm not fired in case anyone was wondering. That was a joke. Um, yeah, back to questions. Let's go. That's great news. Uh, what is your plan? I, what was I, I was talking about? Oh, I was talking about my personal gaming stuff. Yeah. Um, if anyone's wondering, if you're not probably, I, I, I know I said Diablo 2 like eight times in that thing. The way I found out about this was on the Diablo 2 subreddit because Judd posted on there. And I still have that post saved this day. August 1st, 2017, day my life changed. Um, what is your plan for the skin shop? I would love to buy some skill skins and a lot more. Yeah, we're going to be adding in more stuff to that. Um, our, our goal as like we've been going through development, our, our main focus has been on like the, the stuff you get from just playing the game. You know, like, like these things looking cool. I, know I look like a hodgepodge mess right now. Um, but, but, you know, having these things that you find in game organically and naturally is the like, in-game stuff is like, uh, is fun. It's cool. There's a term I miss. It's a term I always forget. Someone says it. I'm like, yeah, that's it. Diegetic. It makes sense in the game. It's like, um, it's, it's cool. It's fun. It's like, it, it's, it's appropriate for the era, all sorts of stuff. We try, we try to really make that shine in the game first. And that's, that's where we started. Um, and we, we've been adding in more cosmetic stuff since we've got that to a point that, well, I got Mike, that we're pretty happy with. Um, we're going to keep expanding both as we go. Um, but yes, we'll be adding in, uh, you can see that there's slots for skill cosmetics to go in right here. So that'll be coming. Um, major patches will include updates to cosmetics available. Uh, the skill ones are the whole system for the skill cosmetics is not designed and developed yet. Um, so those will lag behind a little bit still. I have, uh, I, ha I only have one question. Um, that's impressive. I have a lot of questions in general. Um, and that is, will we be getting a guild slash clan system for people's communities? So we don't have to add each other a person as a friend. Um, I think there's a high likelihood that we will be adding things like this. Um, we don't have uh, we don't have that system in development right now. We wanted to avoid the situation of that a like a guild clan is just a like it's a it's a chat channel basically. We wanted to avoid that situation where it doesn't really do anything. There's no activities to to do. There's it's it's just like there's nothing there. There's no substance to it. Um, I think my personal opinion on that is kind of shifting a bit in the last few days. Um, like this, this week I've seen so many requests of people just being like, I, I do, I just, I just want that chat channel, please. Like, that's all I want. Um, and you know, maybe having a guild system that is just a glorified chat system, um, like a glorified chat channel thing is, isn't the terrible idea, you know, maybe, um, so, so yeah, we're, we're still looking at exactly how we're going to be doing this. Um, just, just dump everything. I know most of it's garbage. I don't care. Dump it all. Wait, one of these slingers. Hmm. Hmm. What can we do with you? Dexterity. Let's go. 
Do it any chaos? Poison res. Oh! That's important because our resistances are a poo poo garbage. Uh, yeah. How will stash tabs, memg, cof, etc., in the cycle affect legacy accounts after the cycle ends? Uh, legacy stash combined with cycle, for example, question mark. So, um, we don't have this fully solidified yet. Um, we'll be doing the faction progress, the item faction progress. There's, there's lots there's, there's lots of things that are your stash that may not seem like your stash. Your gold is part of your stash. Your craft materials, this is all part of your stash. Um, this slot in your forge is part of your stash. Um, the slot in the at the end of the temporal sanctum when you're doing, when you're combining stuff into... A legendary. There's three slots that are in your stash. That's all part of your stash. Um, the how that combines with uh, when a cycle rollover happens, we're still working on. It. I think it. I think it needs. To, I. I'm. I'm not 100 percent sure what we're gonna do. I think it needs to be a remove only type system where you're not combining them together additively, um, because you'll always end up in a situation where you can have more. Um, more than the maximum if you did that. So like you have 200 stash tabs as your maximum, which I know some people want more crazy, but wow, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Just organizing that makes me, ugh. anyways, um, we, we don't want a situation where someone can be like, well, I had 200 legacy and 200 cycles. So I want 400 stash tabs. Now we don't want that. Um, so I think it needs to be in the remove only category style. Thanks for taking um, over Mike. Appreciate that one, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what we can do. Um, as far as the, oh, I need cleanse on belt potion use so bad. Um, as far as the, um, faction progress goes, I know that will be just, it'll take the highest value. So if your okay. legacy COF is higher than your, um, cycle Let's COF, see if we can hit it this COF time. One. And this is mostly just so that you can still equip all the items you have. Okay. That poison res I just got is saving my butt, and it's nowhere near enough. Uh, okay. Mana cost. Oof. Yeah, that is nice. Okay. Um. So now we go slam. Old right? sellers are starting to show up. I know. Are there any plans to reporting RMT options other than just blocking the individuals? Um, I can't really talk about what we're doing about them, but we are doing stuff about them. Um, we don't have it. I know we want to have an in-game reporting tool, but can't with the, uh, our current system won't really work with it. Um, chat's, hey, chat's we, a whole. We got a perfect roll on this one, by the way. <laughs> um, are you going to be changing ward? As it but I never like drink a potion, life, so it doesn't matter at all. Or, or wish you did. <laughs> well, here we go. Um, Ports I mean, in the wrong we're area. Looking at balance changes. And, I'm crying. Uh, I, I do think there is a conversation for ward balance changes in general right now. I don't have any details. God, my nose is just so bad, man. Oh no! Don't die. I have an itchy nose. All that poison. There we go. Down here. You need this chest? Yeah, chest. I had one that I already question. ripped. I already had a two LP one that I ripped, so I can't rip another one now. For players in the merchant skill, or I'm gonna cry. Me. Um, I don't care what we get as long that. as we get the 26 percent health on there. I don't care what else we um, get. It's very tricky. I think there's. Um, I don't. I don't want to promise it in case it goes horribly wrong. This is kind of the thing. <laughs> um. I feel like I'm backtracking a lot to take gold. Uh, plan on finding a way to pick up gold easier. Can I enjoy my fast class without sacrificing gold? Um, not specifically. 
There's no, we don't even plans to change that right now. Uh, boss unique prophecies for SSF players. Um, no, because you can convert SSF into regular. Uh, any plans to take another look at item class based stat restrictions? Item class based stat restrictions. Uh, oh, is this like you need so much strength to wear this item? You need so much dexterity to wear this item? Um, for example, you can't put poison damage on a wand. Oh, that. Even though there is a wand based site that has a chance to apply poison, it's arbitrarily restricted. Um, I, I think that that is a good example of a potential oversight. Um, but overall, the system is, I think, very positive. Um, one thing that the system does do is allows you to um, have a higher chance of dropped items being generally better um, because you'll see thematically appropriate things dropping together, um, which, which is part of the reason we do this because there are so many options. It's kind of like the most minimal type of smart loot possible. Um, and things are generally pretty open, but there are some, I think there are some specific examples that, that should be looked at. I think that's a specific example that should be looked at, but I don't think the system in general needs to be looked at. I could be wrong about that. You never know. Slingering. We're listening like to the, Mike. He's a developer those, those, those for like Last Epoch. The, the, the Talk about that, Last Epoch time, live. Right? Huh? Someone just brought, brought Wheel of Time up earlier. I keep uh, can you my please nose, have man? a functionality where we can pre-select items and shatter them with one button click. It's all that cocaine mm. I've been snorting. That is, that, that's that is, uh, that's a cool idea. Um, Just kidding. I can't give you an answer on that right now. He's streaming um, on twitch.tv slash last epoch like game. On Discord. Or on the web, BT on the rated me um, and Trapping really like Inquisitor idea. rated uh, me. I know we don't have any plans what a time to be alive. BT, what's up, dude? Traveling, what's up, But having up, buddy? these things just like, just, um, that that would be what I would call a quality. I know I like yelling people for being like, well, the quality of life thing. I'm like, that's not a quality of life thing. That's a quality of life thing. Um, yeah. I like that idea. Uh, any plans to preview MTX on your character? Uh, no, but uh, I know at one point we did have plans to do that, and they failed horribly. <laughs> um, are you satisfied with the sales of the game? I have no idea what the sales numbers are. Uh, is is it profitable for you to continue working on the game? I would like to see more content for this game. Um, one thing that I do know for certain, I can say this with... with very heavy confidence. I I don't know the details of like this is how much money we made, this is how much money we spent, and you know like I I don't have those numbers off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Um, I do know that there is there is there's absolutely no talk around the office of us like oh are we gonna make it through this or like do we need to slow down or any of that sort of stuff like no like let's go we're making this game it's awesome let's keep going push we like. You know, like a little, little, little breather because, you know, like, like okay, guys, not as quite intense. We need like, to hit the 26% health. This is, this is, no one's, no one's the other four, saying, right, the other four are good. We did it. The other four are good. The other three are good. Oh, my God. I we need did the 26% it. Let's go. health. I don't care which <laughs> yeah, other one so like, goes with it. Um, the best good. case scenario would be the apply to damned. Well, no, damned like, percent health who, would be the best. Okay, you guys look. We need the 26 or it's dog shit. All sorts of stuff, but like, um, we're good. 26 so, health with yeah. anything, preferably damned? Uh, hey, Mike. Absolutely having a blast. Just got to 99 Room Master. Awesome. My question is around multiplayer. Are there any plans, any planned changes uh, for group monoliths? Right now, it's a little weird to have to choose a single person's timeline. Maybe some kind of shared mono or different shared progression. Um, the, yeah, the... Yes, the, the yes, yes, shared, yes, yes. And the monolith progression timelines are shared, but the... Look at my ward. ...is not shared right now. That's something 55? that I'd like to, to talk about again. Um, 58, there, 59, We did, in, 6, in the initial 000, testing versions, we did have things very 61, like open, it works for everyone. 62. Also, so there was very few restrictions on that. 63. We were seeing... Um, a lot of really unfortunate um, and smart gameplay patterns from players that were testing it, where they're like, 
they're like, okay, well, we'll group up and we'll do this and we'll group up and we'll do that. We'll, then we'll split up to do this and we'll group back up to do that. And it was like, it was really, it was complicated and the, the burden of optimal play was really high and it, it, it was, you were spending a lot of time. You're like, okay, I'm going to play with my friends. You're spending a lot of time alone. And it, it just wasn't giving us the play patterns we were hoping for. Um, and we might, maybe we didn't quite hit the mark on some of those changes that we made, but I think it's really positive from where we were at the start of that. Very nice. All right. Is the Wraith Lord sacrificing party members, minions, Any on the radar? Any advice on I making gold? That, I'm sure someone has that. Sell your arena keys. Um, th that, we, we, I, know, I know we can fix that. I know Sell exactly your arena that. keys. Um, <laughs> so you can't party play with Lord uh, users since the friendly minions don't die. The Wraith Lord infinitely tries to sacrifice. Yeah, we, we can... Uh, I, I know I, I know how to fix that. Um, I I haven't seen that bug report uh, come in, but uh, I would assume if you're getting right destroyed in empowered <laughs> monoliths. You need to work on your health, your resistances, and your crit avoidance. Health, you know resistances, crit Let's avoidance. Grab these need a hundred percent chance to be uh, not be crit. Will offline cosmetics? The dragon timeline can give you a blessing somebody? that gives you seventy uh, of maybe. it. Maybe. I don't have any hard answer, yes or no, on this. I know there's no um, specific plans in the works on it. Um, I know there's, there's quite a bit of requests for it, so I'd love to see it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, right now, it's a... Uh, I guess the answer is no current, no, no, no current plans. Have a good one, uh, Cajun. Any plans on raising Hope the health day, multiplier for enemy in co-op? Or this is Mike from Eleventh Hour Gaming, duo, we crush a developer for Last Epoch. We overlevel areas by five levels and have no rush to overlevel higher. Um, does the experience change? Does the exp gut, gut check here? Does, like, I'm gonna look at chat here. Does the experience change when you get more people in your party? Anyone in chat? Am I, am I crazy? I don't think it does. About it to does. 94. Oh, that's weird. Why does it change? That seems insane. Well, it, it should, if you're if you're under leveled. If if you're in a party and you're in a and you're in a party with um, someone who's like level say say you're 50 and you're in a party with someone who's 100 and you're in a level 60 zone you're gonna gain experience as though it was a level 50 zone so there's there's that I know there's that weird um and this is this is all general balancing stuff that like we we, we do look at so um, we'll look at it. Uh, is there any chance for multiple golden resonances can be traded for one obsidian? Like 10 for one, maybe even more. Nothing, no plans at the moment. It's it maybe, um, you know, drop, drop a suggestion in, in our suggestion channels and it's a possibility. a chance to add a skip of monos to empowered monos for alts we are working on um uh imp improving that experience of of getting into empowered faster on alts um the the approach we're taking is not just a straight you've unlocked empowered you have empowered on all your characters that's not the approach we're taking um we're gonna try something else first and see how that goes and uh Oh my god, I can get to Empowered awesome. faster on my alts? Praise Jeebus. Uh, can we somehow hide the tooltips at the bottom of the item description? Uh, I mean about the control and alt and others, so the item description window would be smaller in the end. I think that'd be a good idea. Um, we don't have anything like that right now. But, you know, drop a suggestion in our suggestion buckets. <laughs> Um, we are so usually I do this stream for two hours, and there's so many people streaming right now. There's Twitch drops enabled for other people. Um, I don't want to pull away from those streams for too long, so I am unfortunately going to cut off um, any questions they're going to be asked right now. I'm not going to be answering. Um, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, like there's there's five pages in the document here that I'm looking at. 
That's pretty big text though. But yeah, so I'm I'm not gonna hit all these questions. I'm sorry. Um, but I will I will I'm not done quite yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm just gonna like rapid fire through some of these. Um, thanks, Fitz. I appreciate you. You did great. Uh, this was so much easier for me to answer questions. I think I got through a lot more and got more in depth in them. So I think this was fantastic. Um, if you do have suggestions in general for how the streams run and stuff like that, I'm all ears just for anyone out there. Um, all right. So let's rapid fire through some of these. We need uh, more titty streamers on the last epoch main channel. channel. If you want to look at something, I don't know. Sorry. That's my first suggestion. Um, are there any plans oh, for be my only suggestion. stats? Uh, currently with a bunch of guesswork. Yes, we are working on that. We don't have good answers to this yet. Uh, is there any chance controllers can have a uh, control on when they want to land after using it? Can you guys skill? think of anything else yeah, other than more titty streamers? We'd love to. Short answer is we don't have a good um, solution. Is there anything for this right else now. that we want? So short term, no. Long term, hopefully. Um, I noticed that in 1.0 there are still a lot of that dialogue lines without any voiceover work, it. including main and side quest NPCs. I don't think is anything else really matters. Features? Yes, we're going to keep adding uh, more voice work to the game. Um, Congrats on the release. Great game looks great. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, is there any optimization problems when some maps go from 90 down to 20 with large number of mobs on screen? Um, there's, I would, uh, usually in situations like that, capping your FPS actually helps it stay and dip less. Which I know sounds ridiculous. Um, but we are working on that all the time. Uh, is there any chance controllers can have control? Oh, I already answered that. Uh, can we get separate sliders for monsters and player pet sound effects? Currently, there is no good way to make uh, Falcon, for example, sell uh, Screechy without losing important sound cues. Um, that's really tricky to do. It is. It, it, it's possible. I'd love to. Um, I think there's a good chance we'll probably add some more sliders for things like that. Um, it's a lot of work to, I think it's a lot of work to split those things up because basically every time a sound like goes into the sound system, it like gets assigned one of those channels. Like every time we add a sound to the game, it gets like forcibly put into one of these channels. Um, and if we're going to like split one of these channels into two, we have to go through every sound of the game that falls into that category and, and manually be like, Hey, you go in this one, you go in that one, you go in this one, you go in that one. Um, and so it's it's possible we'll we'll see. Um, I, I bet the sound sound designer would love to have even more of these sliders. Um, I think it would be really cool. I, I think it would be ways to optimize the UI as well to be like um, have like one slider for something that controlled three sliders and it was like a little expando button and it like sp splits off into three sliders and then you can more granularly adjust them if you want to. So it's it's not overwhelming, but for people who like really like having that granularity, it could. This is long term, maybe 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 stuff. Uh, any plans on making blessings swap not so painful? Oh, yes. Um, it missed it for this patch. I got a request actually to slip it in a hotfix, and I'm like, it's too big of a change to do in a hotfix. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry, guys. Um, not yet. Uh, has there been any talk about skipping regular monoliths and going straight to Empowered? I uh, just talked about that. Um, full skip, unlikely, at least initially. We're looking at something else. Uh, are there plans? Are there any plans to change how highlighted items are when you search in stash? It's really hard to see sometimes. I'm not specifically drop a suggestion. Um, I know we are looking at stash uh, uh, improvements in general, so like uh, better searching, better search terms, uh, better tools for all sorts of stuff. Uh, do you think it'll be possible to get a notification for Reno for removal? I've accidentally used it on my items several times and bricked them. Ooh, like a, like a confirmation window maybe. Oh, please, um, no. I, I know we were talking about having like a lock earlier. I think this would fall into the same category. I'd love to see it. No plans at the moment. Are there any plans for a leveling leaderboard for start of cycle races? How about global announcements for reaching at least level 100 first? Yeah, we are definitely looking into this. Yes, 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 yes. Um, any plans to quiet the burb down a bit? <laughs> uh, see, answers a couple back. Um, you may have answered this here. Uh, Keyring, yes, keyrings are coming. Uh, may have answered this already, uh, but any cycle challenges with MTX rewards? Um, we, we don't have anything specific yet. I think there's a very high probability of this sort of thing happening. It is the style of thing we'd like to do. Uh, hey, as someone with a slightly broken left hand, uh, sorry to hear that, I am having struggles actually being agile enough to get through some of the boss fights. Um, 
which leaves me stuck not being able to um, complete the story. Uh, would you consider difficulty reductions for boss in offline mode so I can see the end game? Um, yeah, possibly. I think there's... There is kind of a natural built-in way of doing this already a little bit. Um, and it's it's just over level. It's not great. It's not a, it's not a great solution here. Um, and especially in offline, I could see something like this happening. There's the, the sort of like built-in natural way is like I mean you can just go level more. You can go like just get more gear, get more stuff, get powerful enough to the point where you can brute force it a little bit more. Um, I, I I'd love to be able to add something else more though. So maybe hopefully. <laughs> Uh, is there any chance to have an option that only makes the ding loot drop sound only if they pass the loot filter? I keep looking back and seeing nothing actually dropped. It also doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, we, we, we have that in there for specific item types. If you've like, um, like accidentally hidden unique, all, all unique items and you kind of drop something like that. And it's just that like, Hey, maybe there was something back there you wanted cause it was of this item type that is super rare. Um, but I can see that being disabled as an option too. I think, I think that comes into loot filter upgrades in general that we'll be looking at in the few patches. Coming up, any chance to add fishing to LE? Um, we've talked about this having like a, um, uh, a, 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 I don't know what the best way to put it, like a time wasting mechanic, an intermission mechanic where you're like waiting for a raid to pop in. Wow, so you go fishing for a little bit. You know, things, things like that. Um, we, there's a lot less of those situations, I think, in Last Epoch, but I do think that they are fun activities to have in the game. Um, I think if we're going to add something like that, it will probably not be fishing. It'll probably be something more with our own spin on it. Um, not that we've talked about it or anything. Uh, now the multiplayer is out. Can we hold a stream with multiple EHG members sometimes? Oh yeah. Um, we're still in, uh, post 1.0 chaos a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, that is my, one of my goals for this year is um incorporating more people into the stream that's 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 a that's something i really want to do uh any plans on having the game verified or playable on the steam deck um we don't have any specific plans at the moment um we are still looking at which platforms we want to expand into every platform adds a significant amount of load onto our qa and to our build um approval system so you are taking more time to make sure that the build is good to go out um all these sorts of things just adds time and takes away from other things we're developing um we do want to expand into more systems and we are planning that um which systems those are and when that's going to be is still to be determined um steam has a huge leg up steam deck has a huge leg up on the competition there because we do already have linux mode we do already have controller support like and it does already work uh I would say 85% on Steam Deck. It's like 85% good enough, which is not good enough for us to say it's verified yet. Um, I know there's a lot of people playing on it already, and I really hope we can uh, improve that in the future. That's all the questions I'm going to be doing today. We're a little bit over time. Um, I really appreciate everyone for coming out and saying hi and asking questions. This has been unbelievably awesome. Um, you know, like, hey... This, this whole experience of making this game and releasing this game has been completely life-changing for me and so many people on our team that, like, this is, it's just incredible. And seeing everyone having fun with our game and playing it and talking about it and, and all these things is just, it's incredible. And so I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been playing our game. Um, love it, hate it, whatever. I am so thankful that all of you have, have, have thought it was worth the try. Um, and... You know, I, I, I hope to be able to live up to all of your expectations for this game in the future. Uh, so yeah, with that, um, we're going to, we're going to head out and, um, I'll be back. My plan is same time, same place next week. And, uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Just have a great time and have fun. Um, so yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you had fun. I know I did. If I missed your question, I'm sorry. I We do um, try and answer questions as much as possible. I've had asked the devs channel and Discord pretty locked up recently. Uh, I'm working on a way to improve that system so it's able to stay open for longer. Um, I will do some more, like, one, two-hour bursts in there for answering questions. Um, you know, Reddit, um, our forums, um, there's lots of great community members that are answering questions all the time, too. Please have a great time. I'll see you later. That's it for me today. Um, usually we go uh, find someone to to raid. Let's, let's go. Let's go see who's who's hanging out and what's going on. 
Dude, whoever he raids, oh, I'm going to raid too. I have one in my inbox here. Ah, this is a wonderful gentleman that I met in Germany recently, actually. So yeah, thanks for coming out. Um, that's it for me. Oh, I, uh, yep, that was... Yeah, it's, it's been amazing. All right, guys, that was Mike from EHG. What did you think of his interview? LJ, thanks for the six months, man. Mystic, thank you for the prime. Arc Eye, thank you for the 22, man. What a god. Did you guys like that? Yeah, someone who actually, yeah, the passion is there. It, it was very refreshing. Yeah, the uh, it's always nice to talk to somebody who actually designed the game, put in the time, was in the meetings, has a little bit of freedom to actually speak on stuff. This is the guy who killed mods, by the way. Yeah, and actually plays the game. To be fair, that is not exactly Diablo 4's problem. A lot of the best devs for Blizzard, they not only play the game, they're good at the game. They have multiple 100 characters. They've killed Uber Lilith without cheesing her. A lot of the best devs for Blizzard, they, they know Diablo. That's not the problem. I think it's... I think a lot of the problem that Blizzard has is they're like their own worst enemy. They have so much corporate red tape to get anything done. I'm not really sure how much freedom these devs actually have to make the game. You think Adam Jackson's one of the best devs that they have? Seems like it. Okay, let's fight this boss and see if we can get a better blessing here. Wow, that guy got tomahawked. That's my new show, Tomahawked. Okay. 
Okay, do we have any Jim Tomes? Here's a Jim Tome. Let's go for that. This is Bleed Warlock, yes. Is there a way to play Warlock without Spirit Plague? Uh, I'm sure there is. They wouldn't for they wouldn't force you to take a specific skill. Otherwise, that would just be bad design, right? Oh my sweet baby Jesus! What was that? You guys see that one? Holy, oh my f Okay, we got a Jim Tomei right here. You're just here for the music. Me too, man. It's all about the music. If I'm channeling my little beam of happiness, I don't think they can kill me. Goodbye. Oh, there's a lot of big boys in this one. They're all dead, ha ha. Burn them down, boys. These guys have, like, all the powers in the world. I don't like that. Chap.
Holy. How many Gumbies there are over here? That was kind of challenging. Those guys 100% gave me some sass there. We'll do anything for Jim Tomes. Do this one, I guess. <laughs> Chronics, are you playing Last Epoch and enjoying it? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think last I think uh, I think D four is in a bit of trouble, man. There's a lot of other options. There's PoE 1, PoE 2 coming, Grim Dawn's expansion, Titan Quest 2, Last Epoch. Um, yeah. And you can bet every single one of the teams has been watching the feedback given to Diablo 4. So they have the opportunity in the kind of the free QA to not make the same mistakes. Nah, D4 is the GOAT. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that. Diablo 4 is the GOAT? Are they? Diablo 4 is the GOAT? It's a game of all time. Diablo 4 is a game. It is a game. Out of all the video games that have ever been released, Diablo 4 is certainly one of them.
Okay, this one, one more in the boss. Guys, you want to hear something cool? In 12 days, less than two weeks, I streamed every single day for five straight years. Got halfway to my goal. The first day I started streaming was March 13th, 2019. Had no viewers except my mom and my brother. And I told everyone I was going to stream every single day for 10 straight years, no exceptions. In 12 days, we streamed every single day for five straight years. Five more to go. <laughs> I said I was going to do it for 10. We'll celebrate for about three seconds, and then the grind continues. What's the shortest and longest stream? Uh, the shortest stream I ever did was about 40 minutes, but it wasn't by choice. My internet didn't work, so then I streamed on my cell phone plan, but my cell phone plan only had enough data to stream for um, 40 minutes, and then it crashed. So that was a one-off anomaly. Um, I think my average stream over five years has been seven hours and 20 minutes. My longest stream was 48 hours, but the only reason why it stopped is because Twitch stops you. You have to stop at 48 hours. Um, I streamed the Diablo 4 beta for like 30, 34 straight hours. Then Sarah took over for a few hours while I slept. Then I continued until 48, and then Twitch made us stop and start a different stream, which we did. We streamed the entire, we streamed the entire, whatever it was, 108 hours of the beta. We streamed the entire time. What about a girl I just told you? Sarah filled in for me. She's my girlfriend. the most fun class master i think the best one is probably rogue in my opinion but fun is subjective loot fil did the loot filter video help you awesome man great good to hear okay i don't even remember what this boss is let's hope Omni does not exist. You have to be 200 plus corruption. You probably already know that, right? For an Omni to drop. They're very rare, and I think it requires 200 plus corruption. But you probably already knew that.
Okay, we didn't get the right thing. Do I think my mental health is in a good spot after five years of constant streaming? Um, I would say yes, I can keep going. I would say, though by far, I know, by far the worst year for me, as far as sanity, was the second year. The first year that I streamed, um, every single week for me, without exception, was like a minimum of 90 hours or 100 hours of work between streaming and YouTube just trying to make it work. By the time that I hit the second year, um, I was continuing this pace and it was, it was killing me. At, already in the second year, I was really honestly questioning if I could even continue or... Um, yeah. Second year was bad. I had to make some changes and I had to I had to just stream less, simple as that. I just had to work less. I had to, or I was just gonna literally lose my mind. Um we figured it out. Now I'm now I'm alright. I feel better at five years than I did at two. It's hard though. It's it's hard to work all the time every day. It's not it's not easy. Even though I'm doing something that I really like, it's still tough to never have a day off. Even I'll tell you what, even if you had one day off a week, even a single day off, it would be so much different. So much different. With even a single day off. be so much easier but that's not what I signed up for that's not what I said so I don't feel sorry for myself we go forward only take a day off nope no I, I'm sick of people saying stuff and not doing it I said I would do it so I'm doing it Taz Luktaki Taz Luktaki you get I even close did I get even close? Thanks for the prime, man. Lacapelli, thank you for the two gifted subs. Appreciate you, man. Nugs, thank you for the prime. Dismember, thank you for the prime. Yeah, Oilers got it right. Not even 20. Let's let, let's let's try to make it twelve more days, guys. We're not there yet. Let's try to make it five, almost five. I'm sick of people. I'm sick of people saying stuff just to say stuff and having no intention of doing it. So. How's Last Epoch? It's great. Great game. Looking forward to blasting tomorrow. We're already uh, 94 and a half. Remember when we bricked this? And I'd said I'd never get another ocean with, uh, I'm just going to call it ocean, with LP. Look what I just found. Another one. So we're going to go again. We're going to go again. We're going to slam it again. We'll do that tomorrow, though. What was wrong with FF7? The open world was nothing like the original. Riding around a Chocobo was clunky and terrible. Um, wasn't enjoying it at all, so I just stopped playing it. Wasn't enjoying it, so I stopped.
All right, guys. I'm going to hang it up for today. I'm going to go relax. We stream for six and a half hours. Still pretty good. Tomorrow we'll do another blast. I'm still really enjoying Last Epoch, man. I just like the game, so makes it real easy to stream. I like you guys, and I like the game, so it's feeling real nice. We will go again tomorrow. And uh, this Warlock is getting pretty strong, man. Got up to 6,500. And my resistances are looking a little bit better. Kind of, not really. We're making things happen. Let's raid... Let's raid so many awesome streamers, so many great choices. I've never raided Mathel before. Should we raid Mathel? Raid Mathel, I can raid mods. Could raid Lily. Could raid Woody. I've raided Woody a million times. What do you think? Okay, we've got two, the one that has. Okay, the one I actually see the spam the most is actually Lizard. Okay, let's raid Lizard then. That's fine. Let's raid Lizard. That sounds good. He's a great guy. This guy is the Michael Jordan of Last Epoch. He is an absolute ultimate god. Over 10k hours in the game already from the beta and the alpha. He's super nice. Make sure you say hi to him, guys. Bricks for brains. Just watch the endgame tips and tricks. Thank you. Was super helpful. I'll be creating my own loot filter and hoarding the exalts going forward. Good man. Thank you. John, thank you, thank you for the prime. Look, guys, I'm doing exactly what I tell you to do. Look. It's monkey see, monkey do. Look, look how many tabs I have. Same thing. Have a great night, guys. See you tomorrow.